you know what this reminds me of? When I worked at the helicopter company, Helicopter Support. It one million percent reminds me of that. American oh. Band, 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 band. Gone forever. Band, 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 band. Gone forever. Band, 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 band. Gone forever. Band, 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 band. I worked for a major company. A helicopter company. It's called Aftermarket Support for Helicopters. Okay? They're flying around. Uh oh, uh oh. Things are breaking down. P -p Parts are wearing out. We're a one stop shop for helicopters. So I was told, we see potential for you. Uh oh. You're better than just working customer support. Revamp the business from ground up. You can map it out and find bottlenecks and find shortcomings and find helicopters so that our company runs more efficiently. Okay? So I busted my ass. I worked my ass off. I did double work, double, double work, never got paid for it. And you say, oh, it's part of the process, man. It's just part of corporate America. Fuck you. Band, 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 band. Gone forever. Band, 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 band. Gone forever. Band, 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 band. Gone forever. Band, 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 band. It happened to me. Fuck you. Why don't you listen to me? You don't know shit. It happened to me. So shut the fuck up. Why don't you listen to me? Because no one can. So shut the fuck up. Why don't you listen to me? Cause no one cares. It happened to me. Fuck you. Why don't you listen to me? You don't know shit. It happened to me. So shut the fuck up. Why don't you listen to me? Cause no one cares. Justice because back then I was pointing a camera at my television. It was terrible. I had just adopted your ex captain. 2008 in my context. think that it's my fault. Drinking gin. Yep, I'm toxic. I love Hulk Hogan's dick. My ass is so fucking stretched. Oh, no, you didn't, you motherfucking piece of shit cocksucker. Mark my fucking words. 
I'm coming for you. For now? Go, 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 go. It's the money, stupid fuck. children's entertainer because I'm not a puppet. I'm not here to play a character. I'm not here to pretend that I'm something that I'm not. I don't dye my hair. I don't act stupidly constantly to get attention from children. I don't do stupid pranks. You know what I mean? I don't cause drama. I'm here just to play games and have fun. I'm a legitimate gamer. Big up your ass. I eat banana, tasty banana. Put banana in my mouth, tasty banana. I eat banana, tasty banana. Please don't peel it, comes in the milk. Put banana in my mouth, squeeze banana. Put banana in my mouth, in my mouth. Squeeze banana. Put banana in my mouth, in my mouth. Act and talk a certain way with certain mannerisms, certain over the top reactions. Screaming at the top of their lungs, jumping, flailing, doing weird things, constantly on camera. I need banana, tasty banana, put banana in my mouth, tasty banana. I need banana, tasty banana, please don't peel it, comes in the milk, put banana in my mouth, squeeze banana. Put banana in my mouth, squeeze banana. Put banana in my mouth, squeeze banana. Squeeze banana. Put banana in my mouth, squeeze banana. Put banana in my mouth, squeeze banana. bubble blow. Very nice. There's bubbles everywhere. There's bubbles all over my PlayStation 4 controller. There's bubbles on my microphone stand. There's bubbles everywhere tonight. And quite frankly, those people who make that shit up should be sued. They should be sued into oblivion. But I'm not a rich man, and I don't have the means to do it. You know, some of that stuff out there has been insanely damaging and messed up the things they said about me and my family. That's completely false, and they have absolutely no factual corroboration for any of it. Look at Bob. Who? I'm a dunce. I'm a dunce. Yes, that's true. He's a pedophile. He's a racist. He's a sexist. Yes, that's true. I smell. I'm a dunce. Offensive. Egregious cross dresser. Yes, that's true. Gifted a body that has a lot of shortcomings. Okay. Bad back injury. A severely herniated gout. You oozing with grit. Post nasal gout. Gout is a disease that makes me act like an ass. He's a racist, he's a sexist, he's a scammer, he's this, he's that. Yes, that's true. I'm a dunce. I'm a dunce. Yes, that's true. He's a pedophile. He's a racist. He's a sexist. Yes, that's true. I smell. I'm a dunce. Stupid mouth jeweler. Offensive. Egregious cross dresser. Yes, that's true. I'm a dunce. I'm a dunce. Yes, that's true. He's a pedophile. He's a racist. He's a sexist. Yes, that's true. I smell. I'm a dunce. Offensive. Egregious cross dresser. Yes, that's true. It was like Phil's a, an embezzler. And Phil invests his money in terrorism. And Phil's a drug dealer. So I'm having a dream that basically people are saying every heinous kind of thing they could possibly say about me. But because of who I am, people believe it. I actually admitted this last year. I'll say it again. I actually do play some mobile games. I do. All right. The ones that I play are free to play. Or... <laughs> it's time for the That Being Said podcast on YouTube.com with me. 
ALT, you got a goal, go get it. Logical style host, Steve of the Dead. Help me! Musical style host, Meerkat. I need my boyfriend. <laughs> the wizard, dentist, secret musical style host, extraordinaire, fantastic Mr. Sam. Burgers. We are brought to you by you. And it's time for the number one entertainment podcast on planet Earth. It's time for the That Being Said podcast. Ooh, what's going on, everybody? It's me, ALT. And we are here, That Being Said podcast, Sunday show. And what a two days it's been as a squirrel nut caring member of the chaos realm <laughs> simp army i traded in my nuts over the last few days <laughs> just for a few days i traded in my nuts because i raise a different simp flag now and there are two gentlemen on the flag they go by the name of crag and chatham and i think we all share that flag now am i right on that meerkat are you on this yes. flag? Are you still for bads? I saw that bads nonsense. Bads? Oh, no, blabs. What? Excuse me, blabs. blabs. <laughs> I'm a big fan. Oh, that's all I'm going to say. I'm a secret admirer. Okay, okay. Well, we'll take that. We'll take that. But what a few days has been for all of us around here. Uh, the foundations of the very distractor sphere have been moved just a, a few gout-encrusted feet off the moorings <laughs> here. And we are going to talk about it for not one hour, not two hours. We got Chew. To in- extend the divorce line, it only took about 100 hours of Attack on Titan figures to get that done. <laughs> <laughs> and the divorce line is now extended on this glorious day. And of course, all the boyfriends are here with me. We're going to have a lot of fun here for the next three, three, count them, three hours. Uh, Meerkat, please grace the people with any business style announcements. Let's get them all out of the way um, right now, whoa, right now, right no, now. No business, no business. Let's get into this. We no got business, more no than business. the usual, and we got something special to to kick this right okay. off with. No so. business, no business. Now, now, guys, now, guys, now, guys, if you allow me to take a quick, short victory lap, Sam, if you don't mind. There's a time in many Americans' life when they are doubted. Christopher Columbus, when the American Indians doubted him, when he said he wouldn't take their homeland. (laughs) Thomas Jefferson, when the British-style people thought that he wouldn't pour the tea into the ocean. I didn't kill tea. Yeah. (laughs) And finally, most importantly, ALT Insider, who was doubted by so many so many when I showed positivity no 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 not positivity confidence in Craig's ability to perform in this interview I don't want to name any names here but I will anyway <laughs> Decepticron Lefty Indrid Cold Loco Slam countless others <laughs> but last but not least our very own Meerkat Mob but I will stay humble I will stay humble in this. I will stay humble like any true hero. I don't need any recognition. I don't need any ceremonies. No special treatments. But take heed of this day, my friends. And from this day forth, you all will trust in ALT. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so, so, so tempted to turn the volume down, man. <laughs> <laughs> Should I also get an apology because I was the only one saying that the interview was going to happen? Do I get something? <laughs> or no? I guess not. I guess not. I don't think that's as that's important. That's not as important. I would, uh, would want to apologize to Craig, though, because I was shit talking him before this and he got a he did a fantastic job. So yes. my apologies, Sir Craig. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Now, I did have inside information. But I, I had some information, and I was talking with Craig the whole time, guys. I'm going to tell you a little bit about that before we get into the interview part, because that's why I was so confident. Because when I, every conf- correspondence I had with Craig was positive, and I knew right away he was receptive, right? Receptive to what I was saying. <laughs> you can cut the music, Sam, anytime. I can still- <laughs> uh, the, the guys on stream can't have it. Can't okay, cool, it. Cool, 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 cool. But uh, I could tell he was into it. So the first time he said, hey, I know you guys are a big podcast of Phil's. Do you have any advice or stuff for me? So I gave him a you know usual, like, a list of questions I thought we were cool to ask. That was kind of it at the beginning. But then he kind of came back, right? And said, would you be willing to practice the interview with me? And that's when I was like, okay, cool. This is going to be really good. But I still kind of didn't have a real grand idea. I was just on the helm of the lore and stuff. But then Phil, Philium himself, put out that tweet. 
saying, oh my God, thanks everybody. <laughs> we'll get to all the super chats, I promise. But let's get the story out uh, of all this nonsense. He's still three hours is going to be tight, I feel, today. But I still still wasn't sure what's going on. But Phil sent that tweet out and he said, like, I want to know what kind of questions we're going to get, guys. And that just set me off a little bit. And he also said, like, if you listen to this interview, you're going to know all the answers. So then I said, then I knew what my game plan was. I was going to, I went to Craig and said, we started talking. We talked for an hour. I, the day before the interview, we talked for an hour. And I said, we can't ask any questions where he has a canned answer. If you get a canned answer, that's a failure, right? That's what we have to avoid. So he, and, and already he, he knew that. He, he knew that kind of thing going in, right? And he, I don't want to give, take any credit for this, really. Craig and Chad, I mean, Adam. <laughs> Chad, Adam. <laughs> they, they, annihilated, well they annihilated my expectations for 100%. And by the way, the two people with, the, with Blabs and the other producer were not there. That was a strategical choice all by them, all by them. I saw people in the beginning of the distractor verse like, why? Wh where's they at? But it was all strategy for them. Craig knew exactly what he wanted to do. He had the game plan laid out. First few questions were a little slow. Turn up the heat, turn up the heat, and see what happens. So it was a beautiful job by them. They deserve all the credit in the world for this because they killed it. Uh, but it was pretty cool to hear my questions asked, too. Uh, I, it was pretty fun. We'll get through all the questions, of course. But I knew it was going to be good because Craig was in the right mindset. And again, he had no agenda, right? No agenda. I really do believe he had no agenda. But he knew he had a big chance here, and he didn't want to mess it, mess it up. So he really did great. And so Craig deserves all the credit in the world, and uh, it was cool. But let's get into it. Um, before we're getting into it, right? How long? <laughs> it, the first, <laughs> me DSP. Don't get ahead of myself here. <laughs> my let's first get job into was, it before we do. Yeah, my first job was a helicopter company. And uh, <laughs> but how long into it, Meerkat, did it take you to think, "Oh shit, this is different than I expected." um let me tell you because i have some notes now in the mm. beginning uh, they were saying it setting it up as um whatever we say yeah we can cure cancer today dot 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 <laughs> still won't be enough so that set me up for like a pre-stream basically mm -hmm. but then at some point they started to push back and then it became very very uh very interesting because they let him go on for a little bit they let him uh, tell his story and run his like usual filibustering type situation Yes, and yes. It, it it was it was kind of like that, but then they they started pushing him back on some stuff, and mm -hmm. it was very interesting. Yeah, yeah. So how about how about you, Steve? When you're watching the beginning questions, how were you feeling the beginning? Uh, the same as Mirka, I completely bought the starting softball questions as being indicative of the rest of the interview. And and when they let Phil talk for a bit, because we're very giving to him at the start, let him lay out, go through his whole spiel, his propaganda stuff, and let him just sort of like talk and get comfortable. I thought, oh, they're not pushing back. This is just going to be another thing. But then, after a few questions, just to set the scene, they started pushing back. And they started pushing back on things that I thought, yes, you should push back. And then they started raising points and issues. And then they started bringing up examples <laughs> and contradictions. <laughs> and it just kept going. It was incredibly similar to how you see um, interrogations go down with suspects of, of crimes and in true crime videos they are incredibly similar tactics he established a rapport at the start and let phil get comfortable and then they just turned up the heat they did the good cop bad cop thing as well mm -hmm. craig definitely seemed <laughs> phil definitely felt more amiable towards craig than he did towards adam and adam would push back more than craig craig would be like no no hang on a minute adam let's get doing the whole good cop thing it was brilliantly done mm -hmm. i was sold after like maybe three or four questions the moment they started pushing back i was like yes Come on. It's like watching like... football. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It was such a draining watch. You know, the five yeah, hours. Was... Can't turn away. I had to pick up my kids from school. I'm like driving my phone right here. Like, all right, I can't listen. Come on. <laughs> kids, get in. That's not the wrong kid. Get out. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't do that. But it was great. What do you think, Sam, at the beginning? Let's know your initial thought. Well, as you know, we were streaming it in the discord um mm. about i don't know 30 of us watching it and i had to step out I, I got it running and i was obviously busy it's not what we normally do so i had things going on around the house so i had the airpods in as much as i can um as, as much as i could but um yeah so I, I caught the first couple of minutes stepped away for 10 minutes to go do something came back and that you could just tell the vibe had just completely changed. I was like, okay, right, here we go. Like, I trust ALT, yeah. you know. Like, I was, I was first, like, okay, this is going well. I, you know, I didn't know about the clips. I can tell you that. So that moment when that clip came up, it was like, oh, it was oh! glorious. Yeah. 
it was like I just the thought, heaven lights of heaven came down. I was like, yeah, I just oh, thought, I'd, shit. <laughs> I just thought I'd check on that actually because I wasn't sure when that occurred, and it was only half an hour into the stream. So like, they were ready, man. They didn't yeah. want to fuck around. Yeah, and, and that whole that whole beginning softballs were still designed to get there, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. To get to that point of you know well what's different phil or dsp and then kind of like getting them in there like so you, but you still make bad jokes you know and then like you know get get phil talking and phil the one credit the one characteristic of phil we all know and don't love is how he runs away but from answering questions by just saying random stories and oh my god they would not put up with a second of it a second of it you know, no. a few times they let him run off, but he was kind of getting beat down too bad. Like, all right, we'll let him talk here. Just let him go. Let him go. Yeah. But that you could tell that um, the, the way he he began the stream, you could tell that's what he expected and how he expected to be throughout mm -hmm. the whole thing. He 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 thought he was he, he was still in that kind of mindset of, you know, this is kind of chill and we're going to talk about games and stuff. Um, <laughs> especially because as they let him talk as they let him talk he got a bit more comfortable with the idea that oh they're not pushing back i can carry on talking i can mm -hmm. i can keep going with this so yeah. he started to relax into it more and became a little bit less guarded yeah and mm -hmm. then later on they hit him with it. yeah saying that though one of the first things he just blurts out was something like completely unrelated about um like sponsorships or something he was like he couldn't <laughs> wait to like start <laughs> slagging people up <laughs> oh he had, he had a checklist it is yeah. Yeah, yeah. Of lined oh, yeah. up. i gotta get these points out like a, a, a sports coach that has the shit they want to talk about to the referees and shit in his mind like no matter what you guys ask me i'm gonna say these points but they were not oh my god adam Adam, Chatham, can't say enough. <laughs> he just overperformed every expectation when he was like, every time oh. Phil was going to go to that part, that part where he's like, well, do you mean old Phil or new Phil? What do you mean? No, 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 no. Answer the question I first asked you. What, what, what do you mean here? You know, and he was not having it. And I got to say, El Shoshone in the, when they dropped that clip, El Shoshone in the Discord said, random super out of nowhere. <laughs> I <was> like, that <laughs> <was so> awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that staggered staggered phil and that was that was a turning point honestly that was when i you know you felt in the, in the bones like this is a magical moment we're about to enjoy here and i don't even remember how he answered the question it, it really because it was just such nonsense about well, he turned it back like what do you think that joke meant Gentlemen. He said, <laughs> "He said the way he squirmed out of that was saying that he didn't think it was a black girl. You know, he was making a joke because <laughs> the sheriff is crooked and he's taking people away to kill him. So he's going to take that child into slavery. And it's like you thought slavery for a reason, and it wasn't because of the police officer." <laughs> no. He, and then he's like, "But you could see it as racist, but I didn't see it as racist." And it's like, "It is racist." Mm -hmm. The fact that you didn't see it as racist is a problem. So yeah, yeah it was it, he just couldn't handle it from that point on. He, he gave lost. you two pretty like generic excuses for DSP. The first one was that he's a very prolific content creator, so he has like a hundred million uh <laughs> videos, videos online. So you can find the few ones that say something like that. And then, of course, the second one was, if you think it's racist, you're racist. Because oh, I don't no. see color, dude. I see the world in black and white. <laughs> yeah. And uh, the, the, I, I think because I saw a lot of comments uh, under the interview that were uh, roasting them about bringing up the joke and, yeah. and talking about it. I think the grand point there was the dude who spent the previous like 20 minutes talking about how much he has changed and how this whole point falls apart when you bring up a clip of him from a year ago. And yes. they, they probably had a lot more clips because they had the other clip with like uh, with the be awesome one with the, I have your name and I have your address <laughs> and then the smug look at the camera. That was that was for me when they just like I knew they were going to kill it. And I was like <laughs> along for the ride at that point. <laughs> yeah, that was one part I actually missed at the time. And the, the only way I've seen that now is watching a bit of your stream back, me, uh, Meerkat, and uh, the reactions first class it's, it's I, I feel like it, it's the sort of thing that requires multiple viewings because there's just <laughs> so much in it yep yeah uh, you know it, yeah phil had many moments where he thought he was flexing but like they their their faces were like yep. oh, okay yep mm -hmm. Hundred thousand videos 
Okay. <laughs> you know, it's like, that's not the flex you think it is. These people aren't your chat <laughs> that, that believe that stuff. And that was the best part. Cause just having Phil have to answer to somebody, something that mm-hmm. he hasn't done in the 15 year career was so incredible. Oh, and yeah. He's just so satisfied. Adam's response to everything. Like, I, I just don't get that dude. Like, that's fine. Hey, hey that's fine. That's fine. I'm going to tell you why that's wrong, though, but that's fine. (laughs) Something that I found really, really funny was that when he got pressed very hard, he kind of jumped to that uh, emergency response and and turned on the baby voice, like this sympathetic (laughs) voice. And it was just in, like, victim mode immediately. He turns on the voice and then it's like, well, you know, the people that they, they, they trolled me, they doxed my family, they uh, they want to hurt me, uh, you know, I'm, I'm being abused every day. And it's just like they're just sitting there. They're not buying it. And uh, that was uh, so transparent that when he did that, he it was, just it's, knew what it, he was doing. It's really pathetic, man. And then uh, Adam tries to start giving him some advice and dude turns into a bobblehead. And then it's just like sitting there <laughs> nodding. It's like your parents are giving you some lecture and you just you don't really care and you're not really going to follow that advice. But you you know that you have to agree because that's what you have to do. And, oh. and then you move on when they. Oh, that'd be- yep. Yep. You just have to wait it out. You have to ride the storm. Just ride the yeah. snake. And Phil taking criticism is like his probably his least favorite thing to do in the world. And he like he starts rocking and then he kind of just started melting backwards. And then Giannis went down and kind of was just like, okay, yes, yes, Sir Adam. Yes, Sir Adam. <laughs> it was awesome. There's uh, a lot so of this was... going on. What? Hmm? Oh, I'm gone. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't hear it. I'm gone. Have it again. Correct. There you go. Correct. <laughs> It shows what sort of person he is when you put him in like direct conflict with someone else, somebody who was not buying his shit and pushing back. He completely crumbles. If that was anyone in chat, he'd be like, all right, get the fuck out of here. You're banned and lean in. But because he's not got that power, because it's in a more equal setting where you're just talking to another person, he he completely crumbles. He can't handle it. Yeah, Yeah. yeah, you're right. Yeah, totally right. I'm sorry. (laughs) <laughs> sorry sir he didn't say sir at all but he was feeling it and he, he would just like every time craig would ask a question he kind of perked up just a an inch an inch, you know a few percent and then adam would just come back and crush him down <laughs> he just yeah man it was it was it was incredible to watch that how much someone did not want to be there like that to be fair okay i'll say one thing for phil like everyone, as everyone else has said i thought he was going to rage quit at this point yeah. i said all right it, it's not going to last and i told before the day before remember guys i told you this court i said after i talked to craig that night i said i don't think he's going to make it the whole thing because craig has is is knows what he's doing and he knows everything he needs to know i don't think craig's going to make it and then when that interview started about an hour in i, I still don't think it's going to make it because it takes something to sit through that you know but if you go yeah. mentally through phil's thinking if he leaves he loses if he stays he loses so what can he do right yeah, he had to. He, he had to sit it out yeah. for sure. Like, <laughs> like, just the ego. You know, he he wouldn't have been able to to live it down. Not that he's now going to live it down anyway. But yeah, <laughs> I think in his basic way of thinking, it was like I've got to stick this out no matter what they what they say. Go ahead, Meerkat. Um, yeah, I mean, he, he had to stay on because, you know, then the trolls are going to say, Phil, you ran away. You quit. I never quit. I'm like John Cena. Never give up. <laughs> never give up. And, and Ember, think, this is, yeah, go ahead. Do you guys think that the cutout in the, um, at one point was legit then? Or do you think he panicked? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. When that's he, not, he, no, yeah, that's not halfway through. I, I like yeah. the theory. I f- proposed the theory. Someone else said I'm not, I'm just taking credit for it. It was a lag switch. It, no, no, it was it was cat pulling the plug. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's the theory I subscribe oh, to. Yeah, she's done that. She? She, she pulled the plug out because she was hoovering or something. Fuck it out. That's a call. Oh gee, old jokes are rolling <laughs> in the in the super chats already. Thanks. You guys. know, I, I think uh, I think cat was so angry because the gaslighting that worked on her didn't work on too well adjusted. Just had grown ass adults. <laughs> yeah. So she got pissed yeah. off. So a little bit before the the the, the well DDoS attack, DDoS attack, he uh, Craig asked a very good question to again get the talking going. He said, What's a normal day like for you? Right. So mm-hmm. for any normal human on earth, it's a very normal question. <laughs> but unfortunately for our Phil, it's not a very normal question because it lets out these other questions. It, it opens up the door to so many more questions and they were going oh, to the glorious they were going to the <laughs> angle of don't you think that's kind of unhealthy like what do you think about that like letting him kind of see what he said there 
And his normal day, by the way, was totally when he wakes up at nine now. That's his that's his <laughs> spiel, isn't it? That's what he tells the audience. We knew everything. Every time he wants to act like he's, you know, a really busy, actual, mature adult, he gives that spiel of, I don't have any time because I wake up at this time and then I have to do this and then I have to stream this and then I only get like an hour to prepare food and then I have to do this back to streaming. And we've all heard that before. He was giving exactly the same spiel as they get. But... <laughs> Adam and Craig were more like socially adjusted enough to be able to see it for what it was and go, nah, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Cause I was thinking in my head, like you've still got plenty of time to be doing these, these things. You know, if you're saying you get up at that time, then you've got like what an hour in the morning. I'm not sure how it, how it falls when he starts streaming, etc. but he's still got plenty of time. If he's getting up at nine in the morning to, to get stuff done, blah, 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 you know, sort some, some stuff out, you know, update your settings on OBS and all this stuff. <laughs> But um, uh, we all know it's not true. Um, but yeah, and and my, so that's where my mind went was wasn't you know uh, um, what what they said. This is unhealthy. It was like no, you've still got time. So either way you, you look at it, it's like you know it's 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 unhealthy. Plus hmm. it's like you're not really you, yeah, doing. Yeah, you much, could pick it you know? apart that way <laughs> yeah. as well because there's all these little breaks in between like streaming. It's like well, there's two hours. Yeah. Why don't you go out and like grab a drink or something for two hours? Meet a yeah. friend. Yeah, <laughs> live, like, do, you know. like live some sort of life outside of your streams. Yeah, not just because the way he says it, like he, he tries to fill it with all this stuff and make it sound like there's so much going on. But really, you know, there's there's not a lot there. And you know, as 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 I think everyone's now um, in agreement mm. of, uh, we all know what he's doing. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah and he. That's Street Fighter game. Street Fighter stuff. <laughs> and he, and yeah. it, we're we're kind of cutting it, but it's still during all these answers, he's trying to put in it, it just inject troll nonsense. Inject yeah. trolls. Inject trolls. Like I, you know, what's a normal day like for you? Well, the trolls started doing this. He almost wanted to say, you know, he's like he didn't in that case, but like every single chance he was trying to say troll stuff. Like that was just his total strategy. It was like, I want to bring up as much shit the trolls did to me as possible. That was his goal with the interview. And remember, guys, what he said to start the interview, this was gonna this is gonna be it. When someone asks any question about stuff, I'll point them to this interview. I wonder how soon after it started did he say, oh, shit, this is not going to do that. <laughs> but anyway, so he goes through the day. He said, is that really good? Is that is that going to – is that is that a good life? Is that – you think that's a good you know schedule and stuff? And Phil's like, well, I don't really know. But, I mean, my social life is my laptop. And he said that kind of proud, like, you know. I lost my shit. <laughs> Steve, come on, make it make sense. <laughs> I lost my shit for like a year and a half. I've been screaming that. It's like, that mm -hmm. is so unhealthy. How he, does he not understand that that is like a, a damning indictment of the state of his life? That is so unhealthy. <laughs> but when, we're not even talking about like him chatting with people on Discord or Twitter or something. No, it's just exactly. people in his chat that inherently like him and agree with him. And if they don't, they're gone. So how is this? Like, this is even less healthy than the the alternative which is having like some internet friends that you talk to exactly yeah because yeah, i was i was gonna say like for a lot of streamers especially if it's your full-time job um it's probably not that unusual you know that, there's probably a feeling of that where you you know you are you, you a big part of your social life is that and you you know you're certainly going to build relationships and things like that but um for one thing you know other streamers will be actually building relationships outside of their streams like uh, meerkat says you know you'll have discord etc um but with phil it's just like we've said many many times before his only way of connecting with his fans is in that small stream you know that stream chat that he can closely monitor um and it and it is just that that kind of small people that he's kind of, he's, he's whittled down to the ones that uh either don't care uh, about what he, he does with his money or what he says or blah 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 or um don't understand you know i think it's one of the two and if and anyone else that comes in whether you're a troll or a neutral that just goes hang on a minute what 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 <laughs> what do you mean what you, you know you're gone yeah oh so. god yeah and and, and uh, we haven't even talked about have you noticed guys not a single snort not a yep. single snort sack <laughs> yeah snuggle picked up on it <laughs> straight away straight yeah, away was. i was like you can hear his air con going throughout that whole thing by the way the the Fucking audio is terrible. His volume's so low. He's so he's low. Gain, the, yeah. Yeah. The gain on his mics, we've, again, we've talked about it before. I've got the same thingy as him, the same uh, 
or interface the gain's way down on it because he's i guess he needs to compensate you know because he's all over the place isn't he? he's like this but <laughs> yeah. um, that's his back come on yeah so yeah yeah exactly so yeah and <laughs> But you can hear it, so you can hear the aircon, or you can hear the ambient noise in the office, and you can tell straight away it cuts out so many times, and you can see him like, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it does. It, it, is it a cough? I think he coughs. He mutes yeah. it, coughs, and turns it back on. That's just like you will do it. You fucking cunt. How dare you? Yeah. I'm sorry, Dad, if you're listening. But how dare you? <laughs> he said Years, cunt, by the way. People have said. Just he told you the next you day how he call. was able to do it because the software that they used to have the call had a mute button on it. Big it's button. not like OBS. Yes. <laughs> Revolutionary, bro. This is insane. This that's, is 2023 technology. It's that insane. says it. That says it all about the guy, though, man. And like me, Kat says, you always says, you know, you can just have a bloody hot key on your keyboard, you know, map to OBS to do the same job. He's just so lazy. It's yeah, you know, he was ripping them on that mute button. Turn the mute button. It was a loud one's going. You just know that. Jasper was like, whoa. But <laughs> he like, during that bit when it cut out, he ran out of the room and was just like, <laughs> <laughs> just like all of it out at once. <laughs> Cat's trying to play Skyrim playing Thieves Guild. Like, what's going on? An earthquake? <laughs> no, honey. He's got to take care of something. Okay. Shut the fuck up then. Dinner by seven. <laughs> He runs back in, Romano's back in. Okay. <laughs> oh, I don't know what that was. I think I was DDoS. Sorry, guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was the emptying of the sacks. You know, the empty. Sometimes they get filled, as yeah. you know. Uh, we all know. Um, we did skip over the t- this side you don't play. He had, of course, he was happy to bring up this side you don't play. Anytime there's something to blame, mm. Phil lights up. He has a very uh, put together a story whenever it's something to blame. That's what he's best at telling a story. When uh, this is how you don't plays happen, they they blew up, and uh, just all my shortcomings were exposed from this. All my shortcomings were exposed, and he remember Adam had the good idea. Like you should have, you should have, you know, capitalized on that, right? And of course, Phil says this is when Phil was trying to be new. Phil said, "Oh, I just couldn't do that at that time. I wasn't able to do that." Uh, he kind of didn't talk about. It. He tried to do that, but it was just too late. Uh, um, they talk about sexual content, blah blah blah. Uh, let's get to another question: Was what does meaningful mean? Oh, that's my favorite <laughs> word. I, I still don't know. I guess yeah, meaningful still... is is when people tell you that you're doing good stuff for them, uh, which is what we also get told by people. So I guess we do meaningful stuff. So there you go. It, 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 it's answered. Debuff. I, I, I think I even have a price. quote somewhere. Yes, please. Um. Okay, so we have, I'm helping people. This is an actual quote. <laughs> that's, that's all I have. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm helping Whoa, people. Jesus. <laughs> Whoa, Whoa, thanks helping so much, too, man. man. So much support, guys. We'll read all the Super Chat. I promise we appreciate them so much, but we kind of want to keep it rolling on this. Uh, kind of, you know, we got a lot of get to cover here. Uh, but thanks so much. Wow, that's insane. You guys are insane. Um, <laughs> and also the, the 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 donations for that stream were going nuts and everybody was saying good stuff. You guys are all legends in there. <laughs> like, yeah. A lot of people, oh. names we know. Sophie had a great one. What did she yeah, say again? She, she said, like, he's aging backwards or something. Oh, he's going through puberty backwards. Yeah. <laughs> that was on the on the follow-up show. That oh, one was very show, yeah. hot. That was yeah. that was outstanding. <laughs> can I can I shout out Galath Knox who got a super chat mentioning me and saying so much check in on me and make sure I've got in the flu say thank you for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, awesome. Yeah. So a few people I know I saw Dark Sea to Flow. He shouted out us at some point. Yeah, yeah. So thanks for that. Big ups. And, uh, yeah, Dabby did also, as well. Big ups, Dabby. Yeah, Dabby, Dabby you guys are all legends. Thanks so much, guys. That's awesome. Yes, I will. <laughs> <laughs> um okay, let's keep going here. So then uh, oh wait, no, before ahead, before we please. do uh, oh god, I had a point. Um, Meaningful. when we yes, when we are talking about um we create content and occasionally Occasionally, you do get a message from somebody saying, "Hey, look, I've got something shit in my life going on, and you like, yeah. help take my mind off it." It's 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 a really touching thing, and it always takes me aback because it's never a thing I consider like as a goal or as a as a motivator or something I could use. It's just like you know, I'm creating because I want to create this content, and then I want to put these things out, and I like talking about this thing. I'm not thinking in the back of my mind, someone's going to get meaning for this. But Phil will weaponize it because every time he's using it, he's using it to defend himself, to make himself look like he's vulnerable or he's in. He's, he's important to someone. He's he's got value. The things that he has are worthy. But he's always weaponizing it. It's never a case of like just 
talking about it like we are now. It's always to sort of like say, look, I'm important. I'm valid. I mean something. That's why my content is like worthy. That's why I should be recognized. You know, it, it yeah. treats him like that. It paints yeah. him in a positive light. As much as I agree with you, I totally understand why he would be doing that. Because he spent 15 years trying to build this business, and now he gets up to a thousand views a video without any drama. And there's a whole community of people laughing at everything he does because it's all ridiculous. And of course, at that point, you're going to look for justifications like, why am I still doing this? Something yeah. I'm looking for meaning in this. Like, what is the meaning of this? What did this all mean? All of these years eating hamburgers and playing video games, what did this all mean? <laughs> and yeah. that, that's why we're looking at like, uh, emails from fans and super chats that say you're doing a great job and stuff like that and we're taking it so to heart because mm -hmm. that's 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 why Look, yeah, you gotta that's... find some meaning yeah but that's also why we're here now because that sort of quest to find value in the lifestyle that you've had and the life you've done is is driving him mad he he, he can't find that value the meaning is just one of many coping methods that he uses to sort of like push that reality aside and they're not working that's why he's getting like this now that's why he's been having meltdown after meltdown and we've ended up in this situation he's obviously struggling with that idea we are going to break down territory lads i hope you're ready oh i mean this doing this interview i mean that's this is so against what phil i guess it was the perfect storm right craig was just the perfect person because he's an old not old friend but old acquaintance so Phil kind of thinks we have a connection here. He's kind of on my side. He's not on those dirty detractor side. But Craig is also – another thing about Craig I didn't know. I knew he started Screw Attack, but it kind of changed to Game Attack, and then he got bought by Rooster Teeth, and he still worked there. However, their streams, he said, turned to a lot of about goals and tips, goals, stuff like that, and he didn't like that. So he's already a person that's kind of against that side of things. I didn't know this going into it, but, but then when he told me that, I was like, okay. So he kind of already – does not think favorably of people begging for money. And if you watch those streams that he showed me one of the streams they do, and now it's called like kickoff or something, and they changed the name, but it's like eight dollar pizza slices, guys. If we get eight dollars, we'll put a pizza slice on the screen. And it's just like <laughs> it's like Phil. I was surprised. I mean, they don't get as much hate as Phil, but they're doing begging. At least they're like positive begging, though. Like, yeah, we did it, guys. I mean, Phil does that too, but he doesn't mm. they don't guilt trip. <laughs> but yeah. Craig got out of there because of that begging. So Craig was a perfect person. He's like this perfect, you know, just molded to the perfect interviewer. He had the perfect setup. He knew Phil from so long ago, and he hates his begging, and he just knows how to ask people questions and knows how to do his research, and he did. It was just a, everything came together for this, and that's that's why we got this awesome interview. Um, let's talk about next question that opened a whole new can of worms uh, was – Talking, they 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 kind of seemed like they didn't want to go there this early, but they did, and it was about the five thousand dollars a month. Um, and they kind of, I, I kind of, I suggested you might not want to do this personally. That's what I told Craig. Like it's kind of like it's a deep saga. You got to talk about the bankruptcy. He might go to his kind of standby answers there, but they did it in a great way. Got Phil to talk mm -hmm. about it in a new way, and kind of eased their way into it. Of course, they said, "I don't like bankruptcy. Bankruptcy sucks, but we got to talk about it." You know, five thousand dollars a month. What's that about, Phil? And Phil's response is, five thousand dollars. What? <laughs> that was his defense. What? What are you talking about? And that's literally how he tried to handle it. And they pressed yeah. more, and then finally got to talk a little bit. But go ahead, Sam. <laughs> well, I was going to say a, a, a big theme of this, and I think the word to to cover it is is it ob obfuscation, something like that. Obfuscate, um, yeah. Yeah. I think this was the big moment where that that peaked for me. It was. Um, you never got a straight answer, you know, mm. and, and you didn't get many straight <laughs> answers anyway. But for this, there was a lot of dancing around that question. Um, and yeah, he, 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 he even, I mean, I, I don't, he, he never got to the bottom of what they were trying to ask him, you know, from his point of view, they were like, he was just saying, you know, I don't, I don't even know where this has come from. It's just, wow. It's like, come yeah. on, dude. Mm -hmm. Like it's, that's like this irresponsible. So many levels. It's not like this great, you know how much you spend on your business. It doesn't matter if you give all the numbers to your tax man after that. You still know how much you spend. <laughs> it's not like they're asking a crazy question. Five thousand dollars? What would that be? I don't even know. I just give all the numbers to my tax person. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the and question was, you know, five thousand dollars on business expenses, and it never ever got to that. I don't think it was always just how mm. much how much I'm spending in general. You know, so so we, you know, it's instantly it's mortgage and stuff and and all that kind of stuff, which I guess, like Craig said, you can 
sort of including a business expense. I don't really know, but um, yeah, it, it, it never actually got to that from from what I remember. Uh, it was just yeah. kind of a, a, a general list of everything he spends his money on, and it There's was like... a list, a real <laughs> yeah. list. <laughs> That's when he got the paper, right? That's when he got the paper. <laughs> hey, I don't know if guys. that's when he got it, but okay, paper talk. He he pulled out a piece of paper that said "build" on it, and, and, and he put on the soy voice. But, uh, oh, you guys, okay, so I, I guess I have to show you this. I, I you know, I I want to oh, be that... honest and transparent to the best of my abilities. That, oh, and then they, they didn't buy it. They would like making such like faces of disbelief in this whole time it's like dude no cut cut the bullshit get, get this piece of paper out of here <laughs> that was the moment when for me he went from just like you know squirming under it to being like abusive boyfriend trying to get you back after you after you caught him cheating it's he went like well i don't have to do, I, I, but i guess i have to i don't want to and, he, and his voice started to break in and yeah starting to try to cry and he gets well I, yeah, I just make a big deal out of it and they're like no dude you don't have to you don't have to we told you you don't have to do this don't do it it's okay it's fine and no well i get it up and i'm going and, and it's like that is just such abusive behavior he, he's oh, doing yeah. that he's like yeah. manipulating you that he's trying to make like play on your emotions to, yeah. to, to back off him. You know? The best part about it as well was, was him saying, I'll, I'll, I'll put the paper back now. You know, you have to actually get up and do that. And that reminded me so much of the, um, the dunce laws, you know, when he was like, I guess I'll close the box now because we're not going to hit that. <laughs> exactly the same thing. Guess I'll close the box now, guys. Not going to hit the Lewis goal. I don't do dunce luring, though. <laughs> I oh, remember those days. <laughs> oh, glorious. Remember, remember when that was wild. Yeah. yeah. I know. Yeah. Remember? That was wild then, those days. Uh, but we also, okay, this also gave an opportunity to talk about trolls. He took every opportunity to talk about very, trolls. Very, very quickly before yeah, we please. move on, can I give a quick shout please. out to Adam? Because when Phil did the whole, right, I'm getting up to do the paper thing, Adam's reaction was just like straight to camera. <laughs> yep. It's fucking perfect. That dude's incredible. <laughs> and he tried what to inject Total Talk. It's oh, just ahead, so much. I'm sorry, but yeah. it's like he doesn't no, know as a business owner, he doesn't know his business expenses. And he's never known that. That is fucking mental to me. I'm sorry, he says he's got a business degree, been doing this for like over 14 years, and he doesn't use a fucking spreadsheet to keep track of his business expenses. That's, <laughs> how? How is he 40 years old, guys? How did he make it to 40? Yeah. Uh, and he's uh, wasting I, I, time as well every month, so he says, or however often he's doing, actually writing it out. If if he's, if this is what he's actually doing. Oh, yeah, it, that's you know, a key point. <laughs> yeah. So no uh, way that paper's not pre-prepared. On the topic of the piece of paper, the next day, uh, he brought the piece of paper up to show yeah. it to the fans. Of course, he had to fold it in uh, like oh, bizarre ways. Oh, yeah. oh, on the piece of paper, he admitted it said that it, it, he wrote a reminder for himself to pay his bills next month as well. Just so you, you don't forget. <laughs> You're like, oh shit, they're going to come again, aren't they? Fuck. Wait, we, we okay. can you ask me a yes or no question, please? Any yes or no question is fine. Um, Where did the load go? Yes or no, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> did it Are you young? Yes. Are okay, you yes. <laughs> hey. Hang on. Hang on, you guys can see this, right? <laughs> yes, that's true. <laughs> it's only, it's got to hang it up to the ca camera. It was all white as shit. I guess you guys are going to see it shoot. It says everything, though. That was after that. We should get ahead of ourselves. But yeah, they're holding that paper up to the, to the camera. was fucking classic. It was all faded out. Not faded out, but too bright. Over, it was just uh. toe bright. You couldn't see anything. He's like, oh. so I guess you couldn't see it. But it had said everything. <laughs> And like I don't know who he was trying to fool by like writing down something on a piece of paper as that as if that is some sort of proof of anything. <laughs> it's just you're writing something on a piece of paper. I wrote about you. I wrote on the bottom next month pay bills. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like a memento. <laughs> the movie memento. If you don't write it down, you don't do it. <laughs> Pay taxes next month. Okay, Whew, <laughs> glad I wrote that down. Thank God. <laughs> uh, we should talk I like about. That. It's like, yeah, it's like he happened to conveniently have it there, so it's like either you know he, he's he's preparing in advance, or he's out there thinking they might ask me about my bills. I'll probably do something about that. <laughs> I know. I'll Click write a pen. list. 
<laughs> okay, he did, time. <laughs> so he did mention uh, Craig asked him if there's anything that he had to research on, like to prepare. And DSP sent him his down the rabbit hole reaction, which is like eight hours long. <laughs> Which is like the worst fucking thing you can send him, but I guess like go ahead. That just shows I'm not trying to flex, but when Craig asked me to give him advice, I had it bullet point. This is it. This is it. This is it. If you want more information, go down here because I'm not make waste this opportunity. Phil, on the no. other hand, says check out this eight hour vid, bro. Cool. This will help. <laughs> That's also like he wants you to see all the context. Start watch all my playthroughs. Right. That'll give you the context. All right. And of course, eight hours was, of, that didn't happen. He was also in touch with a lot of other other people. We got to give him credit for that. Yes. He was like actually yeah. actively looking for answers to certain questions. Let's say into yes. like research stuff. Like you should actually do to prepare <laughs> for this. It's not like yeah. he was biased. He just prepared well in case of you know weird filibustering <laughs> rambling kind of answers and to know how to navigate through that because that can really like throw you like off oh yeah yeah I, I know he was talking i know all the people i know i don't know all the people i know he's talking to a lot of people i know he talked to gundam obviously he talked to tevin i know he talked to prophet i know he talked to duty i know he talked to uh he talked to a lot of people he craig went all out all out and i'm amazed he didn't get it too showed. much yeah oh it yeah showed. the way he handled it he fucking masterful yeah you can tell he'd done his work and he didn't the, – the most masterful thing he did was not overdo it with like oh, – like he didn't go too deep in anything, right? Just gave mm. him enough. This is enough information. And if, if you try to go somewhere else, that ain't happening. We're staying on this path, motherfucker. You know, yeah. that was the, the beauty of it. Yeah, but at the same time, you know, like a lot of people were saying, um, he could have followed up the, the racism thing with the – the the handbag thing or whatever it was the backpack you know the they could, the, yeah um <laughs> exactly yeah um but he didn't and i felt like that there was a really good sort of balance there he's just kind of keeping him on the hook almost yeah right, you're him. right because what if you back what if you go black backpack after that backpack after that and phil, <laughs> might be out. phil might be out right you can't yeah overload you know you already saw his response to one of those clips and it would be the same thing it would be again i'm one of the most prolific content creators and you can always find a clip of me saying something bad i'm changing and that's it you know i'm not the same guy i was five minutes ago so ask me something else <laughs> i love when adam was surprised it was last summer He's like that was last summer that's not that long ago. <laughs> well, he spent like 10 minutes talking about changing beforehand. It, it, you would almost make it seem like he was completely a different person at this point. He went through like a metamorphosis of some kind. <laughs> the last stage of evolution, bro. <laughs> it's not that long ago, dude. <laughs> However, Adam said that was so awesome. That's not that long ago. I <laughs> get that sound clip. Murkat, you got a lot of songs to make now. Please. Mm. <laughs> well we um, didn't play the ones that i had made so i'm gonna think about it guys <laughs> <laughs> so we'll, we'll use that as interlude halfway through we'll play meerkat's got a world put well, not world premiere but the members got to hear it already if you're not a member you didn't hear it yet but it's gonna be premiered halfway through the show it's it's about this interview it's gonna be hot halfway no let's just this. play it at the end let's not break it apart let's talk about okay. this okay you're the this. boss you're the boss you're the boss all right um so let's go and of course we should talk about the when he talked about the 5k of course phil brought out the trolls and he said because of the trolls it was hours of work for me they had to go line by line through all the itemized expenses which you believe or not i don't know if you go line by line there's so many you know the contradictions on the back of his uh, bankruptcy form are so legendary like i spent 100 hours on pets do you have pets no mm. it seems <laughs> like you might catch that in an itemized breakdown that takes hours i don't know i've never been in one of those luckily but i mean that that's why it's so hard to judge because like what uh, I saw personally was like the initial filing and then it got amended like 15,000 times because he <laughs> basically filled it in in his sleep all while he was drunk or something. So it wasn't yeah. accurate. And somebody was like, Phil, this doesn't make sense. Make it make sense. And then he wrote some <laughs> different stuff. So eventually what happened, I have no idea. So it's it's hard for me to judge what the, the actual outcome was. Yeah. That's he got so, lucky because yeah. of COVID, let's be honest. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If lockdowns weren't happening. He would have been. And, and because he was like remarkably trolled to a, a, a very hilarious extent, where like the whole call was streamed on Twitch. And for some reason, a lot of people had access to that call. So there was like 50 <laughs> people on the line. <laughs> and some dudes were playing like the Why Am I Toxic voice clip. 
<laughs> yep. Oh, right, the end. Yeah, I fucking love that. Whoever did that is a legend. What was that? Excuse me? <laughs> Classic line. Could you Excuse repeat me? that, please? Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's it. Could you repeat that, please? Yes, that's For true. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this guy, this conversation was kind of left on make it make sense. And there was no, there's no conclusion to the conversation. Phil just kept talking. They're like, doesn't make sense, bro. We got to move on, though. That was a chance for you to say some shit. You didn't say nothing. Fail. Next yeah, question. It, like, it <laughs> you just know? that, you know, he's clearly lying and, and uh, dancing around the question. And that, you know, it, whether you know him or whether you don't know him and you just, uh, you're just asking another human being a question, that's being disrespectful to two people's faces. So just that is enough to piss them off, you know. Uh-huh. So, yeah. yeah. So I can see why... Point. Why, um, right. why Adam was getting so kind of, I, don't, I wouldn't say he was emotional, but, you know, the, the, he, he didn't hold back. Um, and, and you can kind of see why. It's like, well, you, you're lying to my face, you know. <laughs> you can see from that point on, because they, they, they go a bit harder after that. Mm-hmm. They go a bit harder yes. and depress him more, especially in the next two or three questions. They really start to press him. Yeah. Where just obviously, they, they're like, oh, look, mate, I'm fed up, but you're lying. Just but- fucking be honest. I, I can kind of understand why Adam would get so worked up about stuff because there is something oddly irritating about somebody who is so obviously stupid trying to bullshit you and trying to like <laughs> gaslight you into like a uh-huh. fake reality. And it just pisses people off when, when you see somebody do it. It's like a weird telemarketer or something when, when it's obviously there's something that going on there. They're trying to manipulate you into some kind of outcome. Yeah, they've got that kind of that script in front of them and they're never going to deviate from it. And if you do, if they, you know, you are asked a certain question and they'll go on this, this branch and, and he, you know, Phil's got all that kind of stuff mapped out in his head, you know, just kind of like, or, or to a point, I guess. Um, she is a practice for chat that. Yeah. He's, he's, he knows everything that all his excuses he's got because he's had to use them before on chat and on, on his chat. It works. They bought it. So he's never had to like really advance his skills further, but. Obviously, the moment he met people who weren't chatting would push back. They, he were completely inefficient, and he just collapsed. But what I think is one of the most remarkable things is how confident he was going into this. Like, he really oh, yeah. was in his zone. He convinced himself that he's, like, straight shooter. He can go there. He can show up. He's going to stay there the whole time. They can ask him anything. And then they did, and it was a disaster. And he couldn't even admit it to himself until two days later. This is narcissism. Oh, <laughs> he has oh, complete, yeah. like, complete overconfidence in his skills and abilities. He thought he would be able to convince them just as easily as he convinced his chat, not knowing that they're actually two grown men who have socialized throughout their life and not <laughs> the people who will end up in your chat. So yeah. hold on, completely... hold on, Steve. You made it sound too like they're like too high level. You could lower that up, but they are normal human beings. Yeah, that's all you yeah, have to they're say. Normal, they're normal people. human beings. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> normal human beings hear that bullshit. It's like, what are you saying, dude? That's not at all what we asked. But are, you want to answer the question or what? And then if they keep doing that, you like you get pissed. Like I, that's what Adam was feeling. I bet it's like, what's going on here, man? This is your chance, you know. And oh, one more thing I said told Craig to do, and Craig was on this, <clears throat> you know, totally. He said DSP has a very big victim complex, right? As you all could tell. So if we kind of frame it like we're in this together, because the interview is, it is, whether you're trying to do this kind of interview or not, like it is a you're kind of not dancing with the other person, but it's a thing you're going together, the journey you're going yeah. on together. If you make Phil, and it's a true thing, it's not like I'm making live, but just Play yeah, up that not, aspect it, of like we're it, going together, we're doing this together. People don't want to. It's not like Craig knew everyone's going to love it. He was really worried about people not liking the interview. It's like I don't know how this is going to go, Phil, but let's do it together. And I think that that strategy might have helped Phil feel confident. I guess I'm, I'm, I don't know though. I'm just guessing. Go ahead, Rick. Yeah, the, the the thing is that it it wasn't supposed to be like a trap to get him on his side. It was supposed to like actually try and get him to uh, admit to stuff and get him to help himself. Yes. or to be receptive to help. And he he didn't. They gave him plenty of options. I'm I'm sure we're going to get to that eventually. Yeah. Uh, somebody in chat made a good point. Like Phil is not just lying to his new fans. You know Cat's watching, right? And he can't a lot of stuff that Cat might not know about that he can't share cuz what happens if he lets that go? I know a lot of people said like if he didn't admit to any of that stuff, it'd also be like bankrupt, you know, his bankruptcy with fraud and stuff and I don't know all the details about how that would work, but 
let's pretend they do have a real marriage, which we, as we all know, is probably not true. And we'll get to more about that later. How much he brought her into that shit when she did not have to be brought into oh, it at all. Fuck. We'll get into that. We'll get into that. My girl, you don't fuck with my girl, man. That's fucked up. <laughs> That's fucked up, dude. But it's just like he he didn't he, he just couldn't he couldn't stay on topic, and he could he ha- had no de- no way to answer the questions rather than just deflect. It was just deflection central because he can't answer the questions because he probably thinks in his mind there's zero chance I can answer these questions honestly. I just can't do it. Because it, it might break my marriage if I answer these questions honestly. And I might go to jail and shit. I might have to, you know, like, I know what Craig was trying to do, but I think Phil really thought, I can't do it. I can't. No matter how much I might want to, I can't. You know? Because think about mm. it. It, it. Bankrupts, I don't know how much, like, will anyone come after you if you, if you four years later, say like, oh, yeah, I did bankruptcy fraud. But do people really care about that? I don't know how that works. I know chat's going to tell me they probably do. But is that really true? I don't know. Yeah. First of all, I think he's been reported multiple times at this point because there's True. a link that is publicly accessible where you can go. I'm sure people, have, plenty of people have done that. Uh, and I think unless he explicitly admits to doing it and probably the way he did it, it nothing's going to happen to him. But of course, yeah. I mean, it's, it's DSP, so you never know. Yeah. <laughs> and, yeah, that's a good point we didn't talk about yet. He kept bringing up Woe Long. It's like, why are you bringing up Woe Long so much? <laughs> that was like in his holster. Like, let me bring up Woe Long. It's going to go great. <laughs> Do you know what? That's like one of the worst ones as well, because most of this playthrough has been, guys, I fucking hate this game. You better support it. If you want to keep, if you want to see me play it more, support it, because I fucking hate it. And I'm doing this for you. It's like, why are you bringing yeah. that up? No, <laughs> it's yeah, and the way he kind of plays it off is like you know that oh my fans they just love to see me rage you know it's just something I do it's all part of the part it's of the silly. shtick yeah <laughs> something silly I do <laughs> and he kind of blamed his fans for the stupid stuff he does if you noticed yeah, yeah like, like just blame his fans now my fans make me do stupid stuff like it's gonna sound stupid to you guys <laughs> feasting with the king it's so fucking dumb but hey, Phil why do you call yourself the king. There you go. But <laughs> you still call yourself the king. Oh, yes, yes. That's something I need to work on. I need to phase it out. I'll replace it. But, you know, people tell me don't replace the old things. They like the old things. So I've not replaced it yet. But, yeah, you're right. I need to replace just, it. Just blame the blame. The king of blame. Just mm-hmm. everyone's on the table. Everyone's That's it, on now, the table. King of blame. King of blame or king of hypocrisy, projection. I think is the, the big or projection. projection. You know, I like that. I, yeah, Adam said that one that cut like a knife. He said, Phil, I was so honest. happy when he said that. <laughs> that sounds like projection, so, bro. Projection, yeah. <laughs> oh, there's an uh, there's a couple of quotes that I have, yes, and they're please. of course out of context, but we're I think we're kind of close to that that point. They said it uh, between the first and second hour. It was, um, it seems like you're already defeated, not even trying. Yeah. Next one that sounds miserable to me. <laughs> Next one. It sounds like you're trying to convince yourself. Next one. You have a business plan. Are you saving money? Dude, you're 40 years old. And then then I have written as a note, Adam and Craig did a better job in two hours than Dave and Linda could for 41 years. <laughs> and then I have a, another quote. I just want to play games and chill. <laughs> Don't we all? Don't we all? Real, like, real quick, oh, I want to talk about one. I'm, I'm okay, sorry, please. last one. Go, it's, go. it's juicy. I'm sorry, Phil. Begging for money is never a good look for anyone. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I don't want to get to the negatives. There's so much positive. The 1% negative I have is uh, I, I feel like they could have pushed more on the begging aspect. I mean, it shows how fucked up Phil is. There's so many other things to go to. Like, the begging was kind of like in the back burner. Like, I was like, I, I think if I like, there's so much so much there with the begging like that's like my biggest beef with phil and that makes me like watch phil for the interesting part of it is like how can you do this relentless begging just just without soul beg your fans they kind of they mentioned it of course they get like that statement there but in all fairness to them they're sort of like really cautious of the fact that if you push him too hard he will quit he yeah, will true. dorm I mean, he even said beforehand he would. So you don't want to push too hard because you still want to keep him on. You want to keep him on to see what else he will reveal and what else you can get out of him. You don't want to push it too hard, though. So they're making that call constantly. You know, Adam's... Sorry, Craig's... It's Craig more than Adam. So Craig's yeah. mainly sort of like watching it and sort of like making a read of it and going, okay, now I'll move on or should I push this? So, you know, I think mm. he handled it really well. They, they, obviously, mm. he's not perfect. You're not going to please everyone. And I do it like... There was a few things where I thought I'd have pushed him on that. But... 
I think he did a really good job overall of, of, of handling yeah. him. Yeah. The thing is with the begging though is that it's not like it's not like it's a juicy question, is it? It's like he begs, you know, and we can all yeah. see it. You know, it's not like it's not like you need to get him to confess to begging. You know, there's other things you can you can push on. Um, and and you know, if you want to see his um, his mask off with relation to money, just go to yesterday's stream, the follow up stream where he reacts and 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 you start to hear the little things about how much money they made uh, during that stream and during the reaction stream. You oh, know. that was the first thing he mentioned. Mm -hmm. the first thing on the tip of his tongue. That fork yeah. tongue was uh, how much money they make. Well, that, that, well oh, yeah. oh, very quickly yeah. before, because yeah. I like pimping myself out. Uh, yesterday when I did the react stream with Decepticron, he said before that Phil will beg at the start of the video, he'll beg at the end of the video, and he'll beg at, at, in the unrecorded bit. So it's like you get beg, beg, beg sequences like that. And I thought, <laughs> it can't be that bad. And it, it was. <laughs> he does. It actually happened. So it, that... Two days after being like, yeah, I really need to sort out the begging. I know it's an issue. And, you know, yeah, that, that's a good, that, the trolls and everything. <laughs> that's a good point because you're right. What's there's no it, there's no interesting answer there, right? Really, just like yes, I do. Mm. I'm working on it. I'm sorry, we all. I'm I'm a, in fact, what's he say? Like I'm a I'm flawed, flawed human. human. <laughs> yeah, well, flawed yes. human. Flawed Fallible. human. Fallible. <laughs> uh, I love the business plan question. Do you have a business plan? So Phil, of course, says like <laughs> he says no at first, but then gets talked into like, oh, oh yeah, one of those, yeah, I have that, yeah. So wait, what, what's your what's what is your business plan? And like he had nowhere to go except get people to give me more money was like the underlying theme there. Uh, I need more money. That's my business plan. Or, cool. it, or it was it was like <laughs> I had a business plan, but again the trolls fucked it up for me. You know. Yeah, and and he said uh, he needs one year to make content with no trolling. And yes. then that's then he'll be able to have a business plan, or at least he's gonna be on track. <laughs> um, so then we get we're about to our mark. I'm using your notes here, Meerkat. And uh, Craig picks up a question of like, what's the responsibility of a content creator in the audience, right? And of course, all of us lore masters know who, who we think he's gonna talk about, right? We know who he's, he's talking about, but Craig quickly puts the kibosh on that. When Phil's mm -hmm. like, I think we know who you're talking about, right, Craig? Beautiful. <laughs> and Craig, no, no, no. I don't want to hear anything about any personal members of your community. It's about you. This interview is about you, Phil. What do you think? And then, and then Phil has nowhere to go, so his answer is like, what do you guys think? What do you guys think? You know, just trying to get him talking. It was obviously about Derek. You can um, see all these defense methods coming out. It's like projection, there's deflection, there's obfuscating. There he's putting it back on you. He's davoing. It was amazing. Just yep. from like a psychological perspective, it was just a complete unraveling. <laughs> he had no good answer for that, and he just kind of ran that that question. Uh, I think, yeah. Then we get to then we start talking about the fifty thousand from Keem um, came up, and it, it would solve so many problems. It would, and and this is when C Craig was was ready for the Keem email. Even he said that he's like, oh, I got the email ready for Keem to get on here because Craig Craig knows getting Keem on is a big deal. I mean, let's. Let's not kid ourselves. Keem getting on there would be a big deal. Phil says, no, I'm not going to work with Keem. His, his response, by talk, again, put blaming fucking cat. My wife said, wouldn't be a good idea. We talked to my wife. I don't want to accept that. Uh, I wish they pressed a little bit more to say, like, so you'd rather beg then, right? Because that's, that's the question we're all thinking of. But he kind of let it go at that point. And this is when the internet went down. Uh, at that point was when it went down. And then we get the Keem is in chat message. Okay, oh shit, Keem's in chat right now. It's heating up. Phil goes away. And at this point, did any of you in the in the panel think it's over? Because I definitely thought for a minute it might be over. Phil might not I, come back. I, I actually wasn't listening at this point. I was, I, was, I don't know, eating dinner yeah. or something, you know, just doing life stuff, you know. Yeah. And uh, I, I quickly had a look at my phone. I was like, shit. Team stars there and Phil's not. I was like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> so yeah, I didn't so, know. No, I didn't, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that, then, so uh, before, I, I think I missed the, yeah, I'm out of order here because then the WWE Champions talk was before Keem, right? Or was that after Keem? Well, they did talk about Keem for a little bit before he joined because it, okay, it took okay. him some time until he yeah, joined. Yeah. But they did talk about uh, Champions before he joined. Yeah, and I think leaks and other stuff. Yeah, yeah. So that, that's kind of when we get to the, the, the apex of the the word we're all waiting for, WWE mm -hmm. Champions. So it's WWE Champions time. And then it, do you play WWE Champions? 
I feel so smugly, so so like a worm. Mm -hmm. Yes. 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 <laughs> So that question mm. is, why are you so hesitant to talk about it? Great follow-up from Craig is, why are you so hesitant to talk about that if you do play it? And this is when he goes on a long one. He says that, mm. you know, everything I do, it gets out of proportion. If I lie about it, that'll kill the, the rumors. But if I say I do play it, people are going to take it out of context. He kind of went this long, long, long road down to saying, like, this is the trolls with the, their big master plans making something out of nothing. And... I never went at him. He, uh, so why don't you prove it, right? Well, you prove it. I can't disprove it because I'll do more stuff with that. He had nowhere to go with this. Nowhere to go. And we're, but this is we're still working on this question. This is a, this question was a beginning of a an arc to something. But go ahead, Steve first. No, no, I just wanted to point out that's another defense mechanism he's doing there because that is a very simple question to answer, but it involves opening yourself up and being honest. So he has to go down there. Well, you need to know this thing about my life first, front-loading it all with information because he's going to con you. He's going to lie to you. <laughs> Rather than just say, like, you know, I feel embarrassed because it's wrestling, you know, or something like that. Or, yeah, yeah, I have spent a lot on it. You know, rather than just answering the question, you have to get the backstory. You have to get the history. And it's because he needs to front-load that information so you're more likely to accept the lie he's about to tell. And this is why this dynamic between Craig and Adam works so well, because Craig was familiar with the ways that he could expect DSP to address certain answers. And Adam was just there soaking in what he could at the moment and thinking about it objectively of what is actually happening. So yeah. that's why they, they both, I like, called them out on different things at different times because they both have two different approaches and it, mm -hmm. it worked great. Yep. And, and, and uh, like, like Adam not being weighed down by all this other lore he he's living in the moment, right? So okay, this is a good question. Let's see what they're going with. I know Adam knew a lot of stuff, but like he was not ready for the next one. He's like, all right, now we're WWE champions. So can you please answer that? That qu that answer was weird, man. I'm just not buying it. What's going on? Uh, but then Adam starts dropping dropping bombs. He says, "Have you spent a lot of money on this game?" This is like a lawyer talk starts coming. Have you spent a lot of money on this game, sir? And then Phil, <laughs> what's a lot of money? <laughs> Have you spent over a hundred dollars on this game? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think I have. <laughs> Back when it first you know came out. This is also what uh, people tell to Phil when he says, hey, uh, I have to pay a lot of money in bills. Hey, what's a lot of money, Phil? <laughs> so you know that he, he knows to ask the question, but when he says things in this kind of obfuscating, kind of vague way, he expects people to question him, then, of course, they get banned. So he knows what he's doing when he tries to mislead people <laughs> oh, yeah. with like, oh, I, I owe a lot of money. I didn't make a lot of money today on stream, but what's a lot of money, Phil? You know, yeah. and he knows when to ask that question. Yep. Yeah, narcissists and liars live in those sort of obfuscated moments because there's nothing that you can concretely pin them down on. Stuff like, you know, a lot is subjective. We might all have different ideas about what constitutes a lot. So yeah. when they say spend a lot, you can go, well, well, what is that? So it allows him to sort of like dodge slightly and move about and hopefully shift the goalposts enough that he can avoid it. Yep. So, yeah. And Adam was perfect there. He said, anything over a dollar is too much if you don't have enough money. Yeah, <laughs> anything over a dollar, you know, Phil's mind is like, oh fuck, god damn it, <laughs> over a dollar, you kidding me? And then like that, goes, that's the best way to kill that. That's the best uh -huh. way to kill that. Like, what is I a lot? That. How much are you debating? Well, yep, don't fuck dollar. around. More than a dollar is a lot if you don't have enough money, Phil. And then Phil's like, well, and then he finally got to like not over a thousand or something that came out somehow. I can't remember exactly, mm -hmm. but. Yeah, that's he said, a lot. That's a whale, he, man. <laughs> Just that is a whale. <laughs> he was spending over a hundred dollars back in like 2017 when he actually was talking openly about this kind of stuff. And he mentioned he spent like way more money. Like you can go back and, and listen to him talk about Supercard. He was spending hundreds of dollars, if anything. Yeah. Not just over a hundred dollars, whatever that means. Of course, now we're back to like vague terms. And the total is not over a thousand, apparently, according to him, but it's just of course, as, as we see later on, he fails to provide any kind of tangible evidence uh, to back up his point. So, Yeah, so that, that this is where Craig was working to this moment, right? They're working towards they, – oh, they also ask him, are you addicted to this lifestyle a little bit? Kind of get the, that going before they got to this question. Then they go like, all right, why do people think you're a whale then? And Phil says, I don't know. Then, then Craig starts dropping the, hit, the, the facts, right? He knows the facts. Hey, they call you a DSP. That's your Twitter handle. 
And then, then Phil kind of goes, then, then he goes, well, then you changed your name to Down from the Rafters. They said that, that you did the Down from the Rafters shout out. And then, then Craig says, okay, well, here's, what, here's Phil. I'm going to give you a great chance right now. Great chance to end this all right now. Show me a screenshot. Show me a screenshot. Finish it. Finish this, Phil. Finish it right now. This is your chance. And what does Phil do? This is it. This is it. I'll have to look into how feasible that is. <laughs> Yeah. I think well, it's the said, exact he, phrase. He said he did. He sort of muttered, oh, "I need to go and, or I need to think about this, or I need to go and speak to my wife about this, or something." Yeah. I think what is she going to say? say. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What has she got to do with this? <laughs> what, yeah. Let me ask you this, guys. And as as Craig said, make this make sense, please. Uh, <laughs> a person who has prepared perfectly for an interview, and he knows that nothing is off the table. He knows this is exactly what they're going to ask him for. Yep. And he got to tell you that he has to think about how feasible this is. He's not prepared for this question and to provide proof. Great. Point. Then it kind of seems like he doesn't want to provide proof. So Great obviously instantly he looks guilty instantly. Yeah. That's a yeah, great point. point. Yeah. If there's one question you got to be ready for, it's like Bill Clinton after the Monica Lewinsky thing. You got to be ready for that question, man. Phil, whatever your champion just fills Monica Lewinsky. Is the stain on the dress? <laughs> you gotta be ready, bro. You I did not explain. have sexual relations with that Hogan. <laughs> All I can taste is salt. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> yes, that's true. Is that where the load went? <laughs> oh man, that's a new. That's coming. That storyline is coming. Yes, that's true. So it's oh God, we need to get the show. <laughs> yes, that's true. We need to make a short where. I don't, want to, I don't want to ruin it. I don't want anyone to steal this mm. fire. By the way, the, the yes, that's true. For people that don't know the actual yes. context, he's. I, th I believe the quote is, people say I'm a pedophile. Yes, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's true. <laughs> uh, oh, so, then, so then people, then Craig and them start going through the bank leaks in, tie, in, in tandem with the WB champions. Mm -hmm. uh, and they kind of, they get to that leak talk. Right. No, first, they, sorry, excuse me. Let's, we're not done with champions yet. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. They say, you know, um, it doesn't make sense that someone, you know, someone is a whale that stole your name and they spend so much money on the game, like to troll you. That's kind of weird. Like, is that, mm -hmm. that the story you're going with? Yep. I just want to make sure. They said that a few times. Like, I just want to make sure this is a story you're going with. Yes. I, yeah, yes. Yes. And that was it. Every and, time they did that, that was like in, in an interrogation where you go, are you sure? This is your final statement. You, yeah. sure? you don't want to make <laughs> any more changes to this statement. And and when you are being asked that repeatedly, it's because they know you're fucking with them. They know you're lying. They are giving you the opportunity to come clean because they have evidence against you. And he didn't pick up on that. He didn't twig. I'm being asked multiple times. There's a reason for that, you know? Like proper yeah, interrogation like... techniques, you know? That's Sorry. like when you're on the uh, on the lie detector and they ask you uh, the same question several times. That's because you lied. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they want to see like your reaction or your response. It's like exactly the same. It's like, you really sure? One last chance. You can change it if you want. No. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Then what about this? And that's what follows. <laughs> that's what follows. They start hitting it with the bank leaks. It's like you the shops in your area, a car, and he's like, oh, actually, I own a car. I only own one car. It's quite small. Why have to spend yeah, that let's actually get into this like yeah. point by point because there's yeah. <laughs> these are the most uh, detailed uh, notes that I have about this. So yes, uh, okay, I yeah, want to make use of them. You uh, so leak talk, we start by hundreds of transactions, hundreds, over hundreds of thousands of dollars. Were yes. they yours? The answer is no. <laughs> then the answer is they are not accurate. <laughs> then the answer is that is not my account. <laughs> then go ahead. Then he says they did not have access to my bank account, which has been contradicted multiple times with uh, several different stories, ranging from they stole $9,000 from me to they couldn't steal anything because I had two-factor authentication on. Didn't, one of, didn't somebody do a show about that that was received quite well, I believe? <laughs> Someone. A short video about that, I think. Maybe. Somebody hmm. that we know, maybe. Officially, it was, uh, it was, it was that being said. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and okay, so Phil is given like four different answers there, you know? Mm -hmm. So are, uh, were they yours? No, they're not mine. They're not accurate. Th they're also not mine. So 
they, they, they didn't hack my account. He's just throwing away, throw as many answers as you can get. I'll just keep throwing them. Keep, please take one, Adam. Please get away from me. I'll throw as many answers as you need. I can't give you the truth, though. <laughs> That's what it felt like to me. That, that whole segment was like, let me just keep throwing shit at them until they don't know what's what. So it's yeah. not my account. They're not accurate. Oh, it's really not my account. They didn't hack my account. They don't have access to my bank account. <laughs> just throwing it out there. But they... Yeah. they I did not let that go. Go ahead, Sam. No. And on top of that <laughs> as well, all the contradictions, you then get to the beautiful uh, part with Adam Ask saying, uh, you didn't go to the police. Uh, and he's like... <laughs> yeah, what's your crime number? What was the case number? Yeah. Yeah. And it, it's like, well, yeah, didn't you go to the fucking police? But, you know, and it, and, and he and he says, no, why? You know, he doesn't understand why, I would, why you would do that. And Adam's like, to fucking get the person that did it? <laughs> and Phil was like... I, I guess maybe you know. It's I'll, like, I'll bet through Big Big Go, you can find him talking about saying I had to get the police involved. Probably oh, yeah, around the time. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. He did that. His uh, his interview answer was that back in the day, I think when he got the uh, swatted, uh, <gasps> he went to the police and they told him, which I think it was like 2017 or something, mm, and yeah. they told him they couldn't do anything about it. So he'd never uh, he'd realized that there was no way he was going to get the police involved because <laughs> they wouldn't do anything. Yeah, didn't, you get they, didn't, they say, didn't they say like they only do human trafficking now? Yeah, yeah the police yeah. only do human trafficking now. Yeah, that's it. All, over all here of the America, crimes. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was going to say. Just just to end it with, it was like, I guess what I've got to do is tell you more about the crap I've been through. You know, after being asked about. The <laughs> Have you heard about my trolls yet? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let me tell you about being fired from the helicopter too, man. company. Yeah. You know about a, what a helicopter is? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we didn't get the, we, we didn't get one mention of we a got, helicopter. We got fucking we? close, we did, though. We did, we got, I'm fucking... sure we got one mention. But he didn't go into detail, but we did get one mention of that. I thought did he we? said I got okay. laid off. I thought he just said I got laid off. I, yeah, I don't think the helicopter word. Yeah, the, the, the helicopter word did come out. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, good up to you. Big up to you, man. You did a great job, too, on that, that call. We might get to, hopefully we get to that. I'd yeah, uh, love to get through here, too. But um, so this, this is what Phil is at the lowest of the low, looking the worst, right? Anyone that doesn't know who this dude is turns into this, and it's like, this is a criminal. There's just no answer for anything at all. Do you yeah. want to go to the police? Didn't go. What? Why don't you go? I mean, what? And this is, Phil starts getting the sad look, right? He's kind of like, I want this to end now, but they they don't, that oven, <laughs> the heat starts getting turned up. <laughs> Let's look at the bank statements more in more detail, Phil, if you don't mind. And he starts talking about that. Phil says, yeah, it could be someone else's account, I guess. Right. And just think about the logic jumps that are required there. This is worse than WB champions logic jumps. They have to yeah. live around Phil, go to the same stores Phil goes to on the same all, day, on the same, same day. Time. Also use Apple iTunes as much as it does. So basically, it has to be the same person that has the WB Champions account, mm -hmm. probably. Yeah. And Phil, and that's again, they said, that's the story you're going with. Because that is <laughs> massively, massively unbelievable. Look, 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 ALT, <laughs> he has only one cat. There was so much money spent at PetSmart that a person with one cat physically cannot spend that much money. <laughs> okay, so That's the bank leaks are not his. He's been uh, absolved of any kind of guilt. Obviously, but then they add, I love that because then they add on the the sort of like more pressure of. But you talk about these things on streams as well. We yep. can go back to the streams from that time, and you're talking about going to these restaurants and going shopping for pet food. He's like, yeah. but you know, a cat only you know costs so much. Why would I spend? <laughs> <It's> fucking. <laughs> Watching him crumble was amazing. Yeah. I, I, like, that is the story you're going with. Like, it just blew out of his mind. Like, this is it. <laughs> you know? I just want to make sure. Because this is <laughs> insane to me. This is what you're going with? Okay. And that yeah. he's kind of like, we checked out for a second. You know, like, all right, this guy's done. We can't. He's not. No, gonna, I, it's over. I, I, I would like like to ask you guys as uh, pet owners, as I'm the only one who is not, um, they do sell other things in pet stores other than cat food, right? Sometimes yeah. they do. They are look like fit your wallet almost. It might uh, hmm. be be cards you could use for other establishments. 
And like some of them give them as gifts. Uh, exactly. Some yeah, of them could, perhaps yeah. yes said sell gift cards, correct? Uh, it could be. It's it could not be. unknown. It's not uncommon. <laughs> it's a wild it's a big world out there. Yeah. But on the uh, on the iTunes while while we're on that, his debunk to the iTunes oh. point was that he gets the money in his PayPal, right? Why would he move it to his bank account when he could spend the money from his PayPal on microtransactions? Yeah, when or, he said, was that the, it? It just like it made so little sense that I'm not entirely sure on what his stance on this was because it yeah, makes yeah. absolutely no sense because he has in in the past admitted to exactly how the the microtransaction thing works. He has yeah. asked for people to buy him iTunes gift cards for Christmas. He has asked his relatives, and he admits to this on a former yeah. Hate Live once yeah. in the past, on an Ask the King. That and it's like, he has told everybody how this works. And now he's trying to gaslight us into some other narrative that makes absolutely no sense. And he yeah. has also admitted, when he gets chargebacks, that his account goes in the minus because he transfers all his money into the bank yeah. account. Yeah. yeah. He's yeah. explicitly said that he almost instantly withdraws that money. <laughs> yeah. So that's his that's his like that's his thing. strat that's his strategy, bro. Because then you can't get it taken away from the other bills. <laughs> that's his strategy. <laughs> he has said this. That's not a joke. That was his strategy when you loan money is take it out instantly so the bank can't take it out for other bills and take the hit on the fee. That is a strategy. I yeah. think so. I wish though at that moment they had that clip where he's talking about having iTunes gift cards left over because he doesn't listen to music and he's explicitly talking about spending it on WWE champions from like 2017. It's a really old and I just yeah. wish they had it at that point so they could go, Well, Phil, do you remember how we talked about racism and then we had a clip? I yeah, yeah, yeah. Really enjoy this and then play that. <laughs> It's I wish this is the dream. I mean, please, I'm not taking anything away from what, what mm. Chad yeah, and Craig no. did. Because, mm. But this, I wish right then they said, well, I want to ask about this car thing. Yeah, right. You know, because that's, it's game over if you bring up that. You, you baited the trolls into exposing that account. And on that, there's a Firestone transaction that happens on the same exact day. What's your answer to that? That would be game over. That would be mm. game over. He would have to admit it at that point, I think. I, I mean, he probably wouldn't. He'd say something like, that could be someone else, dude. Yeah. That's like, I can accurate? look forward to that in part two or when he's oh, a chill yeah. regular guest on there. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's going to be great. When they get into that normal nonsense, it's going to be great. <laughs> Let's play Mario Kart, Phil. Yeah. <laughs> With him just I... raging. Like... <laughs> Phil, can, I just briefly, or Phil? <laughs> can I just Go briefly ahead. jump forward? Because uh, we're yeah, talking yeah. about the part two. I think my favorite part of it is going to be when he goes, so Phil, welcome back to part two. Um, if, when we last left off, you were talking about grooming your girlfriend and abusing your wife. Because <laughs> you wanted to bring that up at the end. So should we open with that? <laughs> All, right. All right, Phil, we're going to start part two here. Last time you left us was some batshit insane stuff. You expect us to, uh, to understand. Uh, you want to change any opinions there? Okay, good. Yeah. Let's go. It's like not only did he have a, a, a hand-drawn list of, uh, of his bills, he had also had, a, had one with, like, things that they can I can make them feel sorry about me for. Yeah. <laughs> List. Pity yeah. list. It was his checklist. It's everything yeah. he wanted to mention. Yeah. Yeah. And, and that was not like, that was like the last thing. And it was like, I've got to get it in somewhere. Yeah. The, the levels of acidity in my body are too high. So sometimes <laughs> when I eat a lot of red meat, I get a what is called gout. Now, gout is a condition. So and so and so. Hey, and also, I have a bad hey, back. Nothing about, enough about your feet, Phil. It just that was my favorite bit because they're like offering him out at that point. We're like, well, it's been a long time. We're wrapping up now. You know, it's, it's, end of the interview do you feel like there's anything else you want to address or have we covered everything they're giving him an out they're giving him a yeah. should we wrap this up and go and he's like actually no let me bring up these two horrendous ahead, allegations hold on, hold on. that i've not mentioned we'll get, so, we'll get there. we still, we still didn't get, get through all up. keem first let's yeah, get let's yeah. get oh, to keem keep, keep hey, it You're stop derailing your own podcast steven <laughs> hey keep sir topic keep it this chill. is why people want robo steve back in it <laughs> he was so robo simple man he was so robo simple <laughs> could robo steve make a comment sam if you don't mind uh not just yet. So no. No. He's, been, he's been replaced load, by burgers. Load them up. Turn them. Turn them on. Take some water. Warm up. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I'll, I'll, yeah. Chuck a look and say that. Amy, will be fine. <laughs> yeah. Give me a uh, sec. Yeah, please. We'll, we'll wait. Let's know it's ready. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying this, Dad. Let's decompress. <laughs> <laughs> decompress for a second. Right. Uh, but anyways, this is what Creek said. 
Yes. Yes. <laughs> so Craig said, I, I, I updated my stream deck and everything's uh, fucked. So. It's all right. We, 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 we forgive you. We forgive you. Uh, so Craig said, this, there's a lot that doesn't add up here, Phil. And this is your chance. I feel you're letting the chance go right now. And they did say, do you play any other mobile games? And then Phil again goes into his smug. Yes. 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 Are you addicted to mobile games? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, which mobile games does he play? He plays the obvious choice, which is the new Street Fighter uh, mobile game that oh, has, from know. what I've seen from people in the Discord, it has pretty uh, predatory gacha style mechanics. So I'm looking forward to that saga. <laughs> Guys, oh, this is another... that Marvel one. That oh, one yeah, that's definitely. Being advertised on YouTube. Is it like car, the car battle one? I think. I don't know what it is, <laughs> but there's a Marvel one that's out now. It'd be playing so, that. One Phil skill we, are, we don't give enough credit for is his ability to get over addictions it's really incredible um mm. also depression yeah. former alcoholic former alcoholic still can drink now though awesome yeah. i mean that's incredible mm. former gotcha game and addict still plays global games just he could keep it under control and that's what i really respect him for is keeping it under control not spending hundred thousand dollars on mobile games it's really cool not getting hammered on gin every 10 night to 15 that's dollars that's it. oh 10 to 15 i mean what's that that's that's one doordash fee that's nothing yeah it's nothing. <laughs> It's just That's another one. thing they could have they could have pressed him on, isn't it? Because I don't think mm. they did with that. They could have said, "Wait, you used to be an alcoholic, or you used to be an addict." So, I wish but... they did. I lost yeah. my shit at that bit. Really oh, he he did have a response it. on his uh, addressing their post show, where it was basically, "Oh, you guys don't believe that people can grow and evolve?" Oh, yeah. Because they mentioned that. I think Adam mentioned that on their yeah. uh, decompression type thing, and then DSP reacted to it, and that was his reaction, basically. Yep. Right, so let me kind of that that kind of big that felt like a big moment there. You felt the kind of the the pressure of the room was there. You really felt that kind of drama, and it was a chance. It was a chance, and that kind of passed. A little bit of air went out of the room for a second, and, and they all said, "I like, hey man, this is your chance. It's it. All right, we got to move on here." They kept going, uh, and then again, Craig said this line: "I'm offering you an easy out here. Take a quick sh screenshot, email it to me. This is the chance. You know, you could shut up a lot of people right now." And yeah, he I'll said it's it. it's it's very simple, man. And then the response was, "I'll think about it." Mm -hmm. The man who prepared for every single question said he would think about it for the most obvious question. That makes me think he's innocent. <laughs> <laughs> that that uh, what's that guy's name? The comedian that died. I used to drink, but I still do too. That joke came to mind. You know, Mitch Hedberg. Mitch Hedberg. I used Mitch to drink, Hedberg, yeah. but I still do too. I used to play mobile games, but I still do too. Uh, but it's just whatever. Uh, so then we get to um, the uh, – oh, yeah. We have to talk about the Escort. Bill, of course, wants to bring up that Escort store. That was in the cooker for a while, just cooking in that oven, waiting for the right chance. It was not the right time to bring it up, but Phil, of course, just punched it in there. And uh, Craig, so awesomely. I was worried, you know, like maybe he won't say it. Craig said, no, no, no. Didn't your trolls uh, figure out that that was a fake story? <laughs> and Phil was just like... After the fact. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did not know what to do there. He was just on his back, a back foot so hard at that point. <laughs> but uh, that was done. Um, then uh, Craig kind of went back at the, at the like, 5K mm. thing. Like, kind of went back at it. Like, I think there's more here, which I was kind of yeah. surprised by. It's the link with champions, though, isn't it? You've been talking about champions and the spending. You might as well, like, loop back into it because you've established previous things there that you can draw on and sort of, like, bring them in uh -huh. here and say, well, this behavior here shows this behavior here and start tying it together. Uh -huh. That's not a bad point. Um, at one point, Adam brought up the incident, which I know Craig told me they're not going to talk about, but Adam just couldn't resist. <laughs> you can't and resist, then we got the beautiful you. line. <laughs> you got to beat those demons, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> And I was like, instantly, fuck it. We got to make a song about that. <laughs> Demons. <laughs> but you could tell, like, because that was the moment when uh, Craig's uh, camera or mic, it was his mic, wasn't it? Because he, he, oh, he, he, yeah. he, he got an update or something and um, his mic cut out. Um, but any, t you notice, like, any time that anything like that happened where, like, the internet had stutter or, like, that 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 segment, um, Phil was instantly stopped talking he's like whoa whoa what's going on guys you know it's <laughs> so like <happy>. any, <laughs> anything anything like, for like a yeah just some sort of out and he was you he know was what i it. noticed it was uh anytime craig's thing got messed up dsp would completely ignore anything that adam was saying and just focus on craig yeah great yeah. so 
Adam would be talking about, yeah, Phil, you should, you know, have some savings and stuff. Hey, Craig, is, I, I think your microphone is fixed, man. I think you're back. <laughs> yep. Yeah, you're so right. He did not want to hear from Adam. Halfway through, he's like, uh, he hated Adam. He's like, oh, my God, I want to kill him. Adam is Howard. Howard is oh, Adam. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Great comparison yep. in this relationship. Yeah, definitely. Hello, Adam. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's all that, that's all that, all that was missing. Mm. <laughs> we're not friends ha adam <laughs> we're not even supposed to be here i have a long-lasting relationship with craig i think at some point at some point during this whole timeline dsp said they had a 10 year long relationship as if they were in contact or like actually maintained some kind of interactions for 10 years okay, what was the relationship oh, this... he was in the background of a picture once in a, in a video <laughs> this is the... <laughs> That's the relationship. A little bit more than that. Phil reached right. out to him to be a part of SGC, which is a screw oh, yeah, gaming convention. That's how he got the panel in it. Yeah. yeah if he, course, he, so yeah. he asked the only panel DSP ever had, he had to ask to get, which is kind of mm. funny. And that panel, yes, if you haven't seen yeah. that, is is fantastic. Oh, it's, oh, it's, it's amazing. amazing. It, it's incredible. <laughs> Spoiler, we're going to cover that on the uh, Detractor Beam stream on Friday, if you want to see that. Oh, uh, it's going to be hype. Um, unless something crazy happens, which how the things are going, we never know. Uh, so let's get to Keem time. I think we're ready for Keem time, right, boys? I think we're ready. Keem enters the in – the, into the, did I miss anything until Keem, I think? I think we're good? Keem? Uh, it's when Phil dropped out, oh, isn't it? What, what we, we got – Hold on, we got the things no one knows about because DSP felt so pressed to talk about those things that he had to bring them up. Oh, so yeah. I have a list of stuff I can oh, read them out. Oh, oh yes, God, please, yes. please, please. So uh, Phil comes back or goes to to get the paper. I, I don't know if I wrote this down, but <laughs> let's say we talked about the paper already. It's a paper with like chicken scratch on it. Anyways, <laughs> it, it has bills on it with like all caps. <laughs> anyway, so Phil reveals a lot of stuff no one knows about, contrary to what he set up this interview to be like, with no things that no one knows about. It's all things that everybody already knows. And he said it. he just wants it to be in one place. So the <laughs> things no one knows about are, are as follows. He is involved in, quote unquote, legal things. So <laughs> anything ranging from human trafficking to <laughs> uh, yeah. a, a parking ticket. <laughs> <laughs> then we got his own health and his wife's health. So we got obesity and gout. <laughs> then we have <laughs> medical conditions, uh, which is not cancer. He made sure to, to clarify it's not cancer. Because we know oh, if PSP God. had cancer, that would be like, this would be the cancer stream every day. It would be like a status <laughs> check of his, of his condition. <laughs> there are chronic things, which could be anything between gout and post-nasal drip. But well, we have medical costs. Oozing, oozing. No, those are all medical things. Those are all health things. <laughs> yeah, well, like, no one knows separate. about them, I guess. Come, come on, Steve. They're separate. Come on. And uh, he can't pay them. That was the, the final point I think he made. He can't pay them, yes. He has to add that part. He never can pay it, you know. Can't, can't Again, he's trying to pay. manipulate you. He's trying to say, like, look, I'm, I'm really, I'm under a lot of stress. I'm a victim. You know, like, go easy on me. But I've got all this stuff on my mind and all this stuff's weighing on me. And that's why I'm an asshole. Don't blame me, please. It's another attempt at manipulation. Dude, dude, imagine you're on trial for doing something mm. bad. Like, let's, like some, whatever. Like we say Phil's going to trial for bacon. Let's pretend it's a court of law. And your defense is just saying bad shit that's going on with you in your life. That's yeah. your defense. Oh, yes, I'm begging, but I also have medical expenses. Your, medical your Honor, <laughs> my client is oozing from his hands. <laughs> that means he's innocent. Please keep that in mind when you do your, your sentencing, please. I have gout. Thank you. Your Honor, um, <laughs> it never happened. Trust me. The defense rests. Your Honor, my client is considering showing some proof, so we, we can wait until next time, okay? Sound good? Correct? <laughs> <laughs> he just needs to talk to his wife. <laughs> <laughs> anything you want to say to the the jury well i have a story about my wife i'd like to bring up here it has nothing to do with this trial but i want to bring it up anyway <laughs> we're getting there god damn it, we're getting there Ladies yeah this is gentlemen here. of the jury i used to work at a helicopter company um, <laughs> the judge is like ah no 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 <laughs> uh yeah so that that was just like let me line up as much bad shit going on with me as i can for the pity. Like, he, you know, he had all these things of talking points. But he's like, all right, I'm not getting my talking points. I'm just going to list them out. Let's just bullet point these bitches. All right, legal stuff, 
health stuff, bill stuff, stuff stuff. I don't know. <laughs> and you know what? When all of these got ghosted, the next line in my notes I have in all caps, bro, he fucking tried to cry with oh, like yeah. a thousand exclamation marks. So when, yeah. when none of that sympathy stuff like works out, oh. he tried to cry. I swear he tried. Oh, yeah. He did his best. Well, he had a can or a bottle to wipe across his forehead. Yeah, first. he didn't have the bottle. It was a big strategy failure. He didn't have the bottle there to rub it on top. Uh, is this what he said? I didn't want to bring this up, guys. Yeah. Is that this time? Oh, my God. That made my skin crawl. I didn't want to bring this up, guys, but you guys are making me do it. This is what it felt like, you know? It's like, just, yeah. dude, if you want to say something, say it. If you don't want to say anything, don't say it. And Adam said that, too. If you don't want to say yeah, anything, yeah. don't say it, man. You act like you're a victim here in this interview, you know? It's like, you got to be a man at some point, a man or a woman or anything. You got to be a person that's an adult. That's what I should have said. An adult. They handled that. Answer, she, yeah. Sorry. They no handled that perfectly. Yeah. They shut it down I, immediately. Yeah. We're not yeah. taking this victim bullshit, man. You want to say something or not? You got to own up. You're like, I would talk about the next day if we get there, but fuck, man. You got to own up on your shit, man. You want to say it or not? And then that just crumpled mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah phil was out you know just finish him at this point uh, but then someone else came into the party someone Ooh. else joined the barbecue <laughs> let's let's make it a hundred percent clear it was absolutely consensual that they ran a train yeah. on phil it was yeah. absolutely consensual he agreed on it he they asked him i think even multiple times hey phil are you okay with keemstar coming on we know you don't like him we know you guys don't get along you had like prior beef uh, let's call it that. So, yeah. is it is it okay to have it on? He said yes every single time. Because yeah. he didn't want to be the bitch. You know, he didn't want to be the bitch. Mm-hmm. So he said, yeah, 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 I'll do it. Yeah, yeah cool, cool, cool. But it's like and it would have started... been fine, though. <laughs> like, you could have said, no, actually, I'm not comfortable. And it is a sort of sprung on us thing. You know, that would have been fine to say. People would have understood. But he was like, I, I, I just got to dig myself deeper. I'm just going to keep digging. I'll get out eventually. Yeah, bring him on. <laughs> Oh. Keem came in, he had the 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 perfect uh, attitude going in, calm, collected. Hey, Phil, let's talk about this. Cool, you're saying some stuff. I want to get my opinions out there. And of course, he did a little flexing, like he always does. You know, a little flexing of stuff. But again, you know, give him that. He's earned it. <laughs> but Phil, every Phil just starts just starts fellating, Keem, just fellating. <laughs> You're an amazing businessman, Keem. Oh, my God. You're incredible. You're amazing. I love your stuff you've done. But he's, he has a few digs in there. Oh, where, like, yeah. he was, where Keem was saying something like, uh, I tried to call you twice. He feels like, we'll just pretend that's correct. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> there, was, there was a lot of this. That's so admirable. <laughs> <laughs> But Actually, didn't he beforehand? Damn. Uh, because nice with what you've done. <laughs> <laughs> play that again. Play it again. It's the replay. Actually, damn, I'm impressed with what you've done. <laughs> didn't we get before that? Before Keem was on, Phil was yeah. saying that he doesn't respect him at all. Didn't yes. he say something something along those lines? That's probably not the exact quote, but he said he doesn't respect them. Keem goes on. I respect you, Keem. <laughs> I respect you tremendously. <laughs> I respect you, Booker Man. God. Crumbled again. This is like somebody that is it, consequences of his actions. This is a person that you've slagged off now coming in to talk to you. Fuck, you, you're shitting it. But you can see the difference in the body language between them. Keen was just like completely calm, having a smoke, just yeah. completely relaxed. And he knew he was in control. He knew he was the one the, with the power in this. And Phil was shitting. Phil was like, yes, sir. Yes, sir. And a bit, bit defensive, like a bit withdrawn, but very timid. Whereas Keem's mm-hmm. like completely relaxed, knew what he yeah, was doing. Yeah, and any kind of, um, you, you know, any little dig that Phil would try and throw at him, you, it was just, it was it kind of emotionless, wasn't it, from Keem? It was just mm-hmm. kind of like, yeah, like you say, just just sat back. It's like we're not here to talk about this, you know, it's just business, yeah, exactly. business, yeah. business with Keem Star. It's just, it just goes to show the difference between the two of them. And Akeem admitted uh, on the duty stream that he was conflicted between going on like full Keem Star and being, you know, the, the, guy that we know and and being nice so he decided he's going to be nice and that helped him out a lot because he came yeah. out being like a very civil person trying to have a discussion and definitely that's his bread like and Charlie. butter he, he goes on somebody's show on stream and he just talks about stuff that's what he does and phil was completely in too deep he was off the deep end at this point he was lost in the sauce authentic yeah. italian sauce <laughs> <laughs> what's the sugar do <laughs> 
<laughs> Add sweetness. <laughs> <laughs> but it doesn't matter how much you like hate. You might think Keem's like the scrub of the earth. And you might not know anything about Phil. But if you see those two gentlemen to, there, it is like different species. Different mm-hmm. species of human. One child that is trying not to get caught for lying. That has just nothing to say. And Keem is like, you want to answer yourself? I tell my story. And then what, what do you think? And then Phil is out. Out. No responses. It just does not – he's lost at this point, totally lost. Um, and then Keem starts talking about Wings and Boogie and uh, the opportunities they're going to get that Phil is not going to get. And this burns him even more. It just gets the cook – the oven is turning up another level on Phil. And he's I'm saying, not going like, <laughs> Yeah, that's it. I'm not going to watch that shit. Yeah, I'm not going to watch. With his, his voice going up an entire octave every time he answers. No! <laughs> Of course I'm not. It was going on full on Mickey Mouse. Yeah. No, Kim, I don't want to work with you, huh? <laughs> Boxing didn't no. call me at the proper times, huh? <laughs> God damn it. And Phil's big point was that Kim called him at the wrong times, which he's said time and time again. Uh, Kim called me while while I was streaming. And then of course, Craig, as a rational person, brings this up. It's like, Phil, you couldn't like pause your stream. I'm sure everybody would understand yep. if you had to step out and have a phone call that would last probably like five minutes. It wouldn't be like a 20 minute phone call. It's it's dude, dude. It's the 200 people in your chat that are giving you maybe 50 hours a night. Just say, hold on a second, guys. You do it anyway. He mm-hmm. does that anyway. He to take a piss. He takes 15 minutes. Yep. <laughs> That's how much he's not avoiding it, you know? Just avoiding it. Yeah. He doesn't want, they, just like Keemstar said, man, he does not want to get out of this position. He does not want to. No. Yeah, he, he doesn't made some want to good work. points in that. Sorry, Scott. Sorry, sorry. No, it's, it's all right. Yeah, he made some good points in that stream uh, the following day when he came in with duty, and he was just like, he's, it, it does seem like he's addicted to this lifestyle. This, this the, the begging is what he's addicted to. Which is, you know, it may be true. It's, it's just the money coming in that he was used mm. to. He got so used to the YouTube money, uh, he can't adjust to the thought of not having it. He, he became comfortable with him. It's important to him. It's it's his thing. And, yeah. and it's no longer there. So the idea of having to work is terrifying to him. This is like the first time he's ever faced up to, like, consequences. Ever. <laughs> The mm. idea of being like an adult for the first time at 40 is fucking terrifying to him. Oh, God. And you see why he avoids I it do. now? I don't blame mm. him for avoiding it anymore. This is how any question with any kind of bite to it, it just melt. Melt. Oh, someone yeah, said, <laughs> go ahead, real quick, one comment. Someone said, on. Phil looks like Elvis made of butter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm sorry, I forget who said that. Melt was... this. <laughs> melt this. <laughs> All right, go ahead, Sam. Well, it, it, you know, it was an interview, but it did, and someone pointed it out, I think, in our restream, you know, very early on, that it, it it sounded like a job interview with someone that hadn't prepared for anything and they were just kind of flailing around for answers. And, and you know, that's it, that's the way it came across. The, for sure. They were, it, I, I totally agree with that. At some point, even earlier on, they were trying to guide him into the proper answer yeah of yeah. like what is like a, a rational person yeah. would say like a job interview when somebody sees you know you're stressed out it's a normal thing they're used to seeing that and and they try and help you out but he he couldn't catch a hint he couldn't get it he just didn't get it no he doesn't no. understand human interaction no no he's, he's no. not socialized enough no he's he's just yeah exactly he's he's not prepared to deal with the logic of of other rash of, of actual rational people, I guess, of you know, of, of people that live lives outside of this weird world he's created for himself. He he can't. His lies don't work when there's another person in the room. That's the end yeah. of it. That's it. Like it, his lies do not work when there's another human there to to say like make it make sense. He, but mm-hmm. when it's Jade and Derek and. Those people in his chat that are like, play a game, Phil, fun. Yeah. You know, that they don't give a shit what you're saying, you know? Yeah, because he has then. a he has like this built-in defense mechanism when you know there's there's three different video clips of him from several months apart contradicting himself. He was, he's just like, you know, they're moving the goalposts or whatever. But when you're faced with this one person that especially Adam, who, you know, 
kind of doesn't know Phil, you know, seemingly doesn't know. And he's just listening to what's presented to him. And he's just like, what? You know, this, this doesn't make any <laughs> sense at all. I think that's what, why having Adam there was such a, a genius move because it was literally, he's just kind of taking in what he's being told at that moment and going, uh-huh. what the fuck do you mean? What? This doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Are you serious? This yeah. is what you're going with? Like that was like I love that line. That's like that's what we all think. We all of us think that this crow detractor sphere, we're all there. We think that all the time, you know. This is what you're going with? And we mm. know it's how crazy, but when a real normal person said it, it was like like satisfying almost. Like, yeah, see? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you see? Yeah. This is what we is spewing. That's why we're all here, because it's nonsense. Crazy nonsense. <laughs> I think that was part of the enjoyment for me and I'm probably like for a lot of people because it's like you're seeing somebody who's outside of all this recognizing what we recognize and mm-hmm. and sort of like you're like yeah see it's not just us <laughs> it's not just us being too far into this people who don't know about it pick up on it as well so it, yeah. it was really satisfying to see that like, this was uh, kind of the the bottom line of the of the Keemstar call with duty from the other day where Keemstar was like I get it now it's just mm-hmm. a bunch of people looking at this fake dude who's like pretending he's in so much trouble and he's faking all this stuff. Yep. And uh, Keemstar, on some level, he still can't figure out that DSP is actually this. He's actually what he is presenting is just so delusional, so lost in the sauce. And it's just like people seeing through this and calling him out. And he realizes why there's so much hate against this dude and why there's so many people sitting there making fun of him. Yeah, it's it's just like was on all this great display. I don't think Adam was expecting it to be that batshit insane. Like I don't think anyone no. could expect that. Like, are you serious? This is what you're going with? Is mm-hmm. anyone else like, hearing I don't, this? I like that's what it I, looked like. <laughs> like I know you obviously prepared Craig in advance, and obviously a lot of people did because yeah. he, he spoke to a lot of people, so he yeah. was sort of prepared. But even he was still taken aback by just like the overwhelmingness of everything. So for Adam. It must have been even worse because you're coming into this blind, basically. Like maybe the mm. most you know about him, he's like he's a streamer. He was the one who beat off a couple of years ago on stream. You know, it's like that's it. That's probably the most you got. And to get all this, it must have been overwhelming for him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and I, what I loved with the the Keemstar part as well was, um, I think they uh, they might it might have been when they asked him if he was all right. At one point, after Keemstar had joined, and they they were having their backwards and forwards, and Craig was like, you know, just hang on a sec, are we okay with this? It might have even been Adam that said it. You know, are you cool yeah. with this? And Phil was like, yeah. Oh, I think I've got the clip here. Actually, here you go. I would love for this to continue. I just want to make sure you're cool with it. I, I, I'm okay Adam. with this, but I mean, obviously, right, cool. we want to get back to the other topics too, right? I mean, we kind of put everything on pause. Uh, and came and- I didn't. I mean, <laughs> sure, but I I think that I think something good is happening here. That's that's what I like is that Craig was is is there to say like you know no this is really good you know this something's mm. going on here it, it, you can't plan for this kind of thing you, you know and um, but Phil's just kind of got that one trap mind where he's like no I need to get back onto my pity party yeah. or whatever you know yeah. the pre pre preconceived stuff. We did find out on his own stream the next day what the actual issue was that Keemstar was stealing the spotlight from his interview. <laughs> to promote yeah. his project <laughs> that reaches way more people ex- like completely besides the side scrollers podcast appearance oh, yeah. it already has so much more attention to it keemstar really needed a side scrollers promotion here it'd be the, the project doesn't work without side scrollers promotion it really doesn't <laughs> that yeah. that's phil's line of thinking there is that's why keem did that that's incredible incredible that's just <laughs> phil in it Really? And, and he also, it, it's the egocentrism of his narcissism. He's like, you're taking the spotlight off me. It's the exact same reason why he doesn't do multiplayer with anyone. And you've also got the, we are out of like where I plan to be. I cannot cope with this. It's stressing me out because mm-hmm. I can't handle, like, imp- I can't improve on the fly. I can't, like, adjust and change and come up with things as, as you know, uh, in response. I need to be planned in advance. I have my bullet points. I have the things I want to talk to. And we are outside of that. I'm freaking mm-hmm. out. Yeah. Like yeah, we always tell you, like he he's the anti spontaneity streamer on the internet. Like you know, that's this is it. Spontaneity happened, and he was, I'm out. I cannot yeah. handle this. Like it you was, know how he says was... that. It's so soft. We're still gonna get back to the other topics, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it also goes like hand in hand with um, the the other thing that they probably went on to say was was when they were kind of teaching him about how modern co- communication on the internet is. And uh, and he just wasn't he just didn't get it you know um, 
I'm sorry, I've lost my train of thought now. But it was a you know about the the yeah the, the DM they, and stuff. Yeah, it's like how they communicated compared to Phil's. Like, no, email me at this specific time. You know, whereas they're like a couple of quick DMs. Do you want to call? Yeah, boom, done. Fifteen minutes. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But, yeah, I love that that we got that as well. That that you know that we had these people that have been around for so long. Um, versus you know and and have, have evolved with the internet and and uh and do things the way that they are currently done now with the vast majority of people and you've got phil there in, insisting on you know this age-old fucking you know emailing backwards and forwards and, and again it's just all the kind of the the um the control thing isn't it really oh yeah definitely it's just like and it shows that and again how a normal per- human thinks how crazy that sounds like dude can i call you real quick a normal human be like, all right, cool. When Keemstar calls you, I don't care how much you hate him. It's a great opportunity for your career, man. Mm-hmm. Don't mm. give a shit about how much you hate him. It's so ridiculous. And don't throw cat on that fucking bus either when you say, like, she told me it's blood money. She doesn't give a shit about Keemstar. She, she told- watches Keemstar. She watches Keemstar. She, she watches everybody. <laughs> she watches everybody but you. She told me to throw away the $50,000 opportunity. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She would definitely say that. She would say that, yeah. She's fine. Oh, Everything's broken in the house, but yes, yeah, honey. We don't need fifty grand, Phil. It's fine. Keep begging. <laughs> Fuck. So at, at some would, point, honey. they asked the Keemstar whether or not he would do the Lol Cow podcast <laughs> with Phil, or he would still keep trying to work with him. And he said no because he's way too hard to work with. Oh yeah, I, I like that too. He did, he was not having it. He's like, no, no, I'm done with Phil. And then uh, later, Phil, the Keemstar said. You know, I might, but nah, I'm not really. And mm. Phil remembered that in the after. It's like he wasn't even sure what he was saying. Like that's not what that how that happened. He first no. said like maybe, and then he thought about it for a split second. Said nah, no, probably not. You know, but probably but not because like, I've got this other thing going on with them now, which and <laughs> and which must have, you know, because no one was expecting Phil to, um, Keen to drop that as well with the um, you know, we knew about the boxing thing, but we didn't know it was going to be free and all that, and it was just yeah. like you know, sticking the knife in a little bit more. Oh, God. Only, after, gonna... only after Phil's kind of disrespected you so much. Uh, we're going to promote the shit out of that boxing match, man. We're going to be watching that shit all over the place. We support the fuck out of that. I mean, I'm interested in it. It looks like it's a, a fun thing. Yeah, it's just cool for people that understand what entertainment is. Phil again was like, I'm not watching that. <laughs> you know? When Keemstar said, you'll be watching it? No, I won't. I'm not watching that filth. And, and then he pretended to, uh, which is, uh, of course, what he tries to do to, like, appeal to people's uh, sympathy, I guess. He pretended to care about uh, Boogie and Wings' physical well-being. Oh, oh, oh yeah, they're, they're like, could fat. they could get a heart attack at every moment. Dude, that's going to go on for, like, five minutes. These dudes, <laughs> uh, af- at least they're going to do something for themselves. They're going to try to lose some weight, get in shape. They're going to get some money out of it. They're going to fight for five minutes on an undercard. They're going to get paid. They're going to get a lot of exposure. They agreed to do this. And there's going to be a medical team there in case something yeah. goes wrong, which it most also, probably won't. Also, like Ian keeps pointing out, it's boxing. There's always <laughs> a risk that you're going to get. You're punching other people in the face and getting punched in the face. It's There's an inherent risk to being hurt. But you mitigate that by training them, by wearing gloves, by having medics around. So they accept that risk when they step into the ring, when they say, yeah, actually, yeah, I feel like up for boxing. I'll do it. So yep. yeah, the this fight is going to last a minute probably, and it's going to be yeah, they're gonna you know, gas. They're gonna it's like gas. Mike Tyson in the ring throwing <laughs> haymakers. It's going to be you know who's doing this? Boogie and Wings. You know the power they have there. I mean, they might have some power, but it's like they're just standing there getting fucking punched in the face as hard as they can. You defend yourself. They're going to have training. Phil just wanted something to fucking say to go against Keem. Where's the line for you, Keem? Is there any line you won't cross? Because my line is on getting people injured with boxing. It's like, what a weird moral <laughs> line to have. What a fucking weird moral line to have. Begging's cool, though. Yeah. Begging's cool. That's all That's all cool, man. That's kosher. Kosher is shit. Boxing? What are you... Oh, God, it's disgusting. That was so bad. And in the list of many weird, weird things said. But Phil was just totally lost at this point, though. His mind mm-hmm. was in, in outer space at this point. Just yep. wanting to die at this point. Uh, but it's I guess gonna get worse. <laughs> <laughs> Carries on. Yep. All right. So let's say uh, Keem is gone. Let's say Keem leaves. Now it's kind of like 
Phil, I mean, Keep took every opportunity. Like, I'm retired now, dude. And you're <laughs> still on level one, man. He kept saying it. Kept saying oh, it. Oh, we got the, the DLC. Uh, <laughs> DLC? Field, I? I get paid to be DLC? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like that part. But then Keep finally says, Sending okay, Phil. Like okay, yep. Go ahead, Meg. Take care of that. Oh, I see, please. Uh, then, uh, then we get the fight finale. And it says, like, Phil, and Phil loves to say, I'm just a little guy. I'm just a widow guy. I'm so widow. I mean nothing. Hundred thousand dollars a year is not a small YouTuber. It's not. No. There's no. It's so far from a small YouTuber. That's in the top point zero 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 one percent of all YouTubers. Um, he makes way more money than people than people who actually have to get up early, get dressed, and commute to work, and actually work, and then commute back. So he's not really a little guy. He has a very <laughs> prestigious job as far as that's concerned. So he should take it a little bit more seriously. So when yes. people are sitting there trying to give him advice and trying to help him, he should consider it. So what advice did he actually take away from all of this? To apologize uh, <laughs> to some dude in his DMs? He apologized to some Street Fighter dude from like 15 years ago that he insulted and he was trash talking. I and then he tried to make up with uh, with Review Tech USA and invite him on his podcast, but that oh. was a little bit after the fact. I th I'm sure we're gonna get to this. We yeah, got yeah, plenty yeah. of time. We, we got, we got, mm -hmm. yeah. We, we, I do want to say real quick. I, I didn't mention it, but I want to mention it a little bit beforehand. Uh, Craig said smartly, "Hey, you know, usually when people donate, you kind of put it back in the business, right? People donate money, <sighs> you can make your business level up, right? So what do you do? What are you doing at these events? What are you doing at these events? And this was this is one of my questions because I wanted to push on your events are just more ways to make a higher tip score. That's kind of how I wanted to get there. But Phil said, what do you do with these events that is different? His response was, I buy these big meals I normally wouldn't buy. <laughs> <laughs> just something silly we do. It's a little thing called feasting with the king. <laughs> I buy bigger meals I normally wouldn't buy. <laughs> awesome. That was incredible. Adam is just like dead. Like, that is okay. Okay. That's something you said. <laughs> oh, and uh, of course, he brought up that his background is different from what it was years ago. And he has these lights <laughs> and stuff. But that's like kind of it was a one time thing for him. It's not like a consistent investment. It was just like he bought some LEDs and a fucking ring light he, come on we, we, we have all done it we know that it's pretty simple yeah <laughs> yeah there's there is nothing there's nothing like that that he has put back into the business that i can think of really um unless you, can, unless you consider maybe like when he says about buying the new monitor or um uh the pat you know the, the controller when he had that good month of members memberships or whatever i don't know wh where you draw the line in that case but yeah. most of the time it's gifted to him or with the case of the tv it's um funded on the day you know it's it's there was a there was a a, a a lot of money raised on that particular day um that he basically i don't know i don't want to say he sort of asked for it but he basically did you know like us uh, yeah, real quick. Let's finish the interview, then we get to the after stuff because we do want to get yeah. to that too. But the last thing is really monumentous to me. Really, imagine this chance, guys. You're DSP. You decide to do an interview, and you want this to be the one place you send people. And they have a fucking question to you, right? There's a question. What do you, what do you want to? What? How do you want to address your new fans? It's what Craig said. Some to some of that effect, right? Like, this is your chance, Phil. You say whatever you want to say, and Phil has had all the time in the world prepare for this moment, right? Weeks to prepare for this. Two weeks at least to prepare for this last. Hey, what do you want to say at the end? What does he say? What does he say? What does he bring up? Well, my wife had a restraining order against her last boyfriend. And I got her out of that situation. What is the purpose of this statement? Besides Ooh, trying to be, yeah, to be a hero for yeah. someone that no one needs to know about. No so one. The, Just, the setup was... People found out that she was dating a dude named Jeff and he was driving a Subaru and he was playing the music super loud. People found that out. But yeah. what they did, uh, and, and they found out that they were texting while she was still in a relationship. That's what people found out. That's what Jeff said, right? Yeah, yeah. But what they didn't find out is that Phil was a nice guy and she actually had a restraining order against that dude who played the music too loud because he was beating her. And he saved her from that. 
That's why he brought it up. Not even like to make his his wife look like something to make himself look good. Yeah. Like with Panda Lee, we're the same thing over and over again. Yeah. The, he I brought just, up her, just, her ass too. Just quickly, I think it needs to be said that this is the bit of the of the interview where you say, thanks everyone, thanks everyone for joining. Uh, <laughs> you can find me on uh, DSP Gaming, on my new channel, DSP Reacts. Uh, you should come and check it out. It's really cool. We have fun, blah, 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 blah. But, but this is what we got. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We covered a lot today. It was good. Thanks. I really enjoyed it, guys. Thanks That's for having us on here. Great fucking point. I didn't even think about because we're so out of this normal world. Yeah, you say, hey, guys, on Friday, that's a cool event. Come on, if you want to check it out. What does Phil say? Hey, guys, my wife had a restraining order against her promo boyfriend. I'm not a groomer, though. <laughs> <What'd you> Thanks. <say? laughs> <laughs> With- <laughs> With the restraining order thing, though, it also serves another point. It makes us look bad because we're the ones harassing and stalking and being mean to an abuse victim. You know, never mind that this has <laughs> never come up and there's no evidence at all for it until this moment. Phil throws it out. You know, just just, and, just uh, defense. on the on the evidence front, um, restraining orders and that stuff in Michigan, from what I've seen, are private, so they they can't really be made public. Mm, yeah. So even if DSP was basically saying, "Go look that up." Uh, we couldn't do that, and that that's not possible as far as I know. I think Meth Bear had a look, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, he, he said he couldn't, yeah. he couldn't find anything. So I mean, that I'm not here to say that's true or yeah, false. Yeah, that doesn't whatever. mean it's, it's yeah, yeah. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I'm not here to say if it's true cool. or false. But bringing that up is the fucked up part, man. Yeah, that mm-hmm. is incredibly fucked up for your own purposes. Is the only reason you brought your wife up, man. Keep your wife. You know what? You it's something Philo say, so I'm gonna say it to him. Keep your wife's name out of your mouth when she does not have to be brought up for everything. As and you always exes. say, <laughs> and your exes, leave her out of this, man. <laughs> no need to bring up your wife to make her look not she's not looking bad. It's, there's no reason to bring her business in the in this, right? Mm. Don't need to get her business on the world of this audience you don't even have. It's not even his own audience, right? That's a little bit different, I guess. It's still bad, but if you want to say like, "Hey guys, I want to tell you a bad story about my wife," and just share it with your audience, all right. I still think that's fucking up, but all right. This is to random people, the biggest stream he's ever going to get in years, and just bringing it up. And uh, You know, there's the thing when, when people remember the start and the end of something like this. That's what makes the, the biggest impression. And what he chose to end it with to the public, because he did the post show, but he chose to end it to the public by bringing up his wife's restraining order and being a victim. <laughs> that's what he, he chose to like hammer in people's head. As the the final impression of him, it's the primacy and recency effect. The, the, when you're given a sequence of information, you're most likely to remember the, the the starting few and the ending few. So most people will come away from that with the impression of, oh, that racism clip at the start, and oh, that bit where near the end he talked about his his wife's <laughs> restraining order and his girlfriend being like, he, no, he didn't groom her, you know. So there's like a whole two vortexes of shit there to fall down. And he still brought trolls into that. He's like, how come you guys didn't find that? <laughs> what are you saying oh, God, this yeah. for? What I'm sure they doing? would. I'm sure they would. I don't know why yeah. why they wouldn't. Because it would make him look good? No. Oh, people yeah. just are looking for the truth. Just like with the escort story. Imagine if people figured out that it wasn't true and they just kept quiet because it would make Phil look innocent. No, they're just <laughs> looking for the truth, man. <laughs> But that was how it ended. And again, Adam's face of shock was incredible. Like, mm. what? And it, it just no reason to bring it up. It's just such a alien thing to do, such a non-caring thing to do. Mm. And you know, he had a list of pity points on that fucking paper, a non-blank paper, not the Bills one that was blank, the one that was not blank. His pity points he wants to bring up. And that's what he said before Keemstar came on. Remember, he's like, "We're gonna still talk about other stuff, right?" I still got a few things about pity points I want to bring up, if you don't mind. And then that was it. And I'm sure he looked down. What's the best one I can say at the end? What's the one that's going to get the most pity for me here? Okay, yeah, that's it. That's it. Subaru man. <laughs> Fucked up, man. <laughs> Fucked up. All right. Can we move on? I'm done with the interview. Unless any other final points before we move on uh, to the yes. aftermath. We have the post show. I don't know if you guys saw that. Uh, yeah. Phil stayed for the post show. And uh, I guess a quick summary would be... Uh, first, they talk about Keem again. Craig gave him another chance to think about it, consider it. Hey, Phil, you know, if you're in dire straits, man, Keem seemed pretty honest about it. He was offering you like a fair deal. It seems like a thing. You know, you can grow your audience and, and so and so and so. And Phil is like, yeah, I don't want to be Mr. Lolcow. I think that's what he said, actually, yeah. the, the quoted Mr. Lolcow. 
I don't want to be seen as this. I don't want to be Keemstar's slave and always be like, um, uh, basically, like he has all the power and he tells me what to do at any point in time, which is. I, I I don't think you guys uh, would agree that we're all slaves to anybody on this podcast. We just gather once a week at a scheduled time. We do it. We know we kind of watch some clips, get ready to some kind of extent, and we just do it. Yeah, so that's, that's, that's kind of how a podcast works usually, it, right? It's probably Except slightly you. different because it's you know there's probably contracts involved and you know probably a, a much much bigger audience. But at the end of the day, like Keemstar said, somewhere. It's essentially four people. They each own twenty five percent of the, the mm. business, and there's no the, yeah, no one's in Twenty five percent, yeah, yeah. So it's basically the same thing as what we have here. Yeah, and it all you have to do is talk for an hour. They want to prepare shit. You know, they don't prepare shit. Keem doesn't want them preparing shit. To be honest, hey guys, yeah. every Friday yeah. at six p.m. Show up. I'll give you this much money. That's it. You down yeah. or not down? That's the end, end, start, beginning and end of it. Yes, natural mm. conversation is the, the, the most entertaining. We've had like a vague structure of this to follow everything that's happened, but yeah. we're not like, right, point by point, we need to talk about this for an hour, then we need to talk about this for two hours, and then we need to go over. We're just natural flow most of the time, and then you keep it, guide it. Like, you would be like what Keemstar would do. Okay, guys, you all talked about this. Let's move on to this now. Yeah. You know, that's, yeah. <laughs> you yeah that's, that. I, I see Chad are roasting me because I said he he would be a slave to Keem. Come on, I, I, I'm a fucking foreign, okay? <laughs> I couldn't find the proper word. I meant beholden. Beholden, beholden. is the exact word he used. It wouldn't beholden? be his actual li- Mick, literal slave. Mikat doesn't see color. You don't, you I don't didn't see, see color. You didn't think of that. <laughs> I see everything in black and white. And, so let's uh, go, to the, yeah, go ahead. Anything there there is still more. Yeah. In Please. the end, he does this special thing for the Side Scrollers podcast that only the Patreon supporters could see. Is What, whoa, what he does whoa. is he puts on the pilot hat. <gasps> no! Shit. Yeah, you, you guys don't that? know about that. No. Oh, God. And oh, then, God. and then Craig tells them, "Hey, Phil, this, you know, I, I could, I can kind of see why people are calling this a Nazi hat. I can kind of oh. see it. It kind of <laughs> looks like that." <laughs> Was it just me and you, Meerkat, that saw that? Did you see that? I, I, I did not see no. this. No. no okay. No. I wasn't sure about your reaction, whether it was <laughs> real or not. I didn't see that. No, no, I've not seen it. But like, um, legit, legit. That's his actual reaction. That's Craig's actual reaction. Like, Phil, like, yeah. I can see why people would be criticizing you for this. What did yeah. he say? What did he say? And uh, he did, he actually sort of said, um, uh, what was it? I don't, I don't wear it all that often anymore or something like that. Like, he, he tried to kind of, he, it was like, he was like, oh, shit. Yeah. I'm only racist sometimes now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was like, uh, it was another almost, you know, I was just a, a silly thing I do. But they did like when he pulled it out and he put it. He was like, "For me, it was Thursday or something like that." And, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, exactly. And God. Um, oh, he didn't, he didn't say it, did he? He, he did. Say, yeah. Oh no, <laughs> he said it. Yeah, I, I thought he would blow bubbles initially because that was like you know it was the goofy thing he does. Oh my I thought God. it would be like really hilarious, but he put on the fucking pilot hat. I'm like, yeah. what? And he, and he yeah and he was instantly he was like uh, yeah thanks Jack because I've forgotten all this um yeah he, he did say oh the trolls like to call it a Nazi hat and it's like <laughs> and Craig is there going yeah come on man <laughs> and yeah the, like... the rest of the panel uh we got Travis join in who was running chat and we got mm-hmm. Blabs join in who was uh, the lady and she was uh, doing the social oh, media stuff and right. the, their faces were astounding. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, fuck. One real quick point. I forgot to say one more of my my fingerprints are on this interview. And this is my most proud one. I oh, yeah. Craig asked me, is there any words that should be added to the chat as banned words? Oh. <laughs> and gentlemen, <laughs> I added one. ALT is old. <laughs> no, no, no. Horse. <laughs> You're welcome, motherfuckers. Stay away from my girl. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, I mean, if I anyone tried to say it, <laughs> I, I wonder. I'm sure people did. I, yeah, I, that was a legitimate word you have to ban. I mean, just being real, you know. Mm. But anyway, got but yeah, the, he's got it. Someone must have uploaded it. Someone must have clipped and uploaded. Yeah, well, we, uh, I, I do. That. I did watch it on my stream, so maybe I could, uh, we can pull it up on on stream if I can find it on my stream. I think. I, think I that's guess that's. I the, it. Or no, yeah. I can actually find it in Discord because I posted it there. I'm just curious. I don't want to like derail the stream because we've still got a lot. 
yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so. Got anything else? If, anything else, Mayor Cat? From that, uh, it sounds like a great yeah, yeah. ending of the stream. Uh, I think from the post show, that was it. But keep in mind, they gave him the ability to leave several times. Now we're gonna come back to this, so keep that in mind. Make yeah. like a bullet point in your brain. Yes, because we're gonna come back to that. They they yeah, told him, Phil, you can leave anytime. We're gonna do the post show with, for the Patreon people, and if you want to stay, that's cool. If you want to go, that's cool. Oh wow! Yeah, because even I mean, more work now. Fuck yeah! You know, you because know, you you want to be nice to your guests and say like, dude, we got to do some like housekeeping stuff. At any point you want to go, man. Yeah, it's cool. Any point you want to go, you know, we yeah, got to read super chats and stuff. You know, yeah. If you want to go, man, it's cool. Phil stuck around by his own volition. Stuck around. So remember. Remember All right, Sam. I'm gonna I'm gonna send this to you on Discord, and I think okay. it's gonna be timestamped, so you you're gonna be able to find it quickly. But it's like the last. I'll try and like fig find out exactly when the the moment is. Cool. Oh, thank you, man. Thanks. <laughs> no, I tapped. I, we, we, me and Scott ended up like an hour behind. <laughs> so by the end of that, we were like, "No, we need to break, mate. Fuck it." So, but then I caught like other bits later. So yeah, I had no idea this how this went. I can't leave put on the pilot app for fuck's sake. <laughs> but was that it though, Meerkat? Can we move on to that? Because we, we should uh, move. Yeah, I think that's it. Sam should have it. I timestamped the, the point around which I think it, it all happens. So we it, shouldn't really be having any problems with that. Yeah, just give me two seconds. Oh, though, so like let's while much, while uh, so we're figuring this out, right. let's yes. do a quick recap on the whole thing, right? Yes. Please. So Phil goes into this super confident. He's rehearsed all the answers, like uh, a very good boy going to an exam, being very prepared. But the questions on the exam are very different from what he expected them to be. Uh, then at some point, his nemesis tunes in and he jumps on and that goes <laughs> sideways. He comes out of the podcast. The time he comes out of the podcast, he thinks it all went well. It was objective. It was oh, constructive. God. And it was a, a very fair shake, as he put it. But the same day he had his own decompression thing, we're going to get to that. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yes, it was all good in his book, right? They asked him everything he thought they would, and it all went perfect. He thought that was good. He that thought was, that, that is the crazy thing the whole day for me, was that. He thought it was good. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I think Sam got it, got it running. Yeah, go ahead, yeah. Sam. Uh, yeah, just bear with two secs. Right, here we go. Hopefully, everybody can hear this. And lemonade. <laughs> um, have you? Um, I don't know. Like, let, let's. Can let's I? Can I? Can I do time. something? Can I do something really silly that I want to do? Of course. Do the show? His <gasps> choice. Oh, oh here it is, the guys. The guys who support your show, which is me. please. The day that oh Dark Side God. Phil oh. appeared on your show, Side Scrollers, was probably oh, one no! of the most momentous things that you'll always remember. But for me, uh oh, it was Thursday. <gasps> Oh, oh, that's a oh, that's a bison oh, cat. Yes, it is. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> he right. believe that's like, exactly what it is. You've seen this in pictures, right? And people say it's Look a Nazi blabs. cap. Okay. No, it's an M bison oh. replica <laughs> cap that I wear. Like, no. I play Street She's Fighter out. And other stuff. So what do they say? He's a Nazi, right? It's like, come on. Man. Once again, <laughs> Phil. Come blabs on. thinks that it too. Looks, <laughs> it looks way <laughs> like. Come on, dude. Oh, you got like. Me. No, I had to do it. Thing. I had to bring it on. The show. That, then that's fine. But no, I, having just... never seen, I've seen pictures of you in oh, that, and yes. it's like, you know, it's one of those things. But so, seeing it now, geez, geez, it's it's tough, man. Like, dude, oh, drop the hat. So I'm telling funny, you right now, you drop the hat. <laughs> drop the hat. <laughs> drop the hat. <laughs> don't I don't hat. wear it often anyway. I really don't. Oh it's my god. <laughs> replay, replay, replay. Oh, oh, One more time. Oh, just, look, just look at their face. Blabs. Did you have like, any <laughs> watch Blabs. Like, watch Blabs. You know I had to do it. I had to wait. Right? I always I watch Blabs. Only. Where, where I play Spider <laughs> <and> <laughs> stuff, so what did hey, they say? He's a Nazi. Right? It's like, come on. <laughs> Once again, <laughs> Phil, <laughs> it, looks, it looks way <laughs> like, come on. Dude. You got like. <laughs> you know I had to do it. Look I had to bring it up. That, then that's fine. But having never seen, I've seen. Great, isn't it? Oh my god! I, I, you can literally see her processing it. You can yep. see her like going. Are you serious? <laughs> she looked to the side and then started. Oh my god! <laughs> That's fucking oh my amazing. God. Like, dude, come on, drop it, dude. This is the he, best. He's like, he picked. He chose to do this, mm -hmm. oh, and then he walked away thinking that went well. Yeah. <laughs> Again, sympathy. Choice. Yeah, just. <laughs> 
For anyone oh asking, uh, there's a couple of comments. Uh, this was the post show for the Patreon uh, yeah. subscribers or whatever you yeah, call it. Yeah, this was like a members thing, wasn't mm. it? Yeah. That, that, okay, that transition from he's saying, yeah, my trolls thing is a not yet. They're so crazy. And, and then Craig is so quick to say, come on, man. I know. <laughs> yeah. like, I'm bro, so glad you did hat. that. Bro, drop it. It's not a joke. It's like, cut it, man. Just drop and it. And this hat. is like, like to do that. It's one of those those things that establishes the pattern of like, dude, look at how insane my trolls are. And then you get the response of, hey, you know, it, 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 they might have a point, but I'm going to tell you that in a slightly different way so we don't yeah. get offended. He was sitting on that. He planned that for ages. Like, this will slay him. They'll love yeah. this. And I thought but I needed that bubble speech. blow, man. A silly, goofy bubble blow. It's just something fun we do. Yeah, like that. <laughs> Throw in a vest. Fuck it. Just like yeah, any, do some... with oh any other hat. God. That's that's this... what I was I was thinking through the whole thing though. It was like that's the kind of interview that I think he thought this was going to be. I think that's yeah. he was he had only that and the stupid cringy thing he said at the start when he first joined the call, where he was like, "Guys, you did it." You, you got me on on your show, you know, you canceled, whatever. No, yeah. You cancel, yeah. And I think that was it. You know, he thought that that was it was going to be all fun and games, you know. And it, and if I don't know, I think I've seen a, a side by side where you see his face at the start, and then when Keem's in the call or whatever. And it's just... <laughs> <laughs> um, one of my favorite things to come out of this is that picture of like Adam sat there in extra doubt. Oh yeah, him, but, you know, I'm sure you've all seen that on Twitter. Oh my like, god, yeah, everyone. This moment. It's like, we didn't plan this at all. I, we may have seen, legitimately not see this. This moment yeah, is incredible. It, this is top <laughs> top two, top three of the whole fucking thing. It's incredible. The, all these elements. Phil thinking this is such a great joke. This is going to slay him. <laughs> you, you know You're he did. You this. know he planned it. Like, going to end with this. <laughs> Any last words, Phil? Yes. Just one. The day that Dark Side Phil appeared on your phone, you're thinking, oh, no. Oh, you mad. know, he had it planned way in advance because he had it lying near him yeah, somewhere. Yeah. Because it the list right of there. bills he had to go oh. and get, the hat was right next to him. So he had this bit prepared. Oh, yeah. He thought he would be like, he thought he would end, like everybody would be on his side. It would be great. And he'd do this final joke to really send him home happy. Yeah. And it, oh, yeah. God. This, and and he's like, just like, the eyes both just, just, you the office thing, you know, when yeah. it's like it, it's Tim or whatever, it, it, it's <laughs> like the boss does something stupid. American conversion isn't as good as the British version, but they'll look at the camera, they'll side down the camera and be like, Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> exactly what I was going to say. This uh, it feels like David Brent, that bit yeah. at the end, <laughs> Michael Scott, yeah, yeah. Michael Scott, David Dent. <laughs> <laughs> there is a David Dent in the chat. David Dent. There we go. And uh, I could see the the sound bite coming behind the scenes where it's just like the camera, the camera crew with blabs in one of the office, and she's like, "I have no idea what just happened." <laughs> <laughs> oh, when it comes to that, in talking head fit, yeah. <laughs> right, here's the next question, or maybe a poll question. We haven't had a poll question yet. Will Phil wear the hat again on his own streams? <laughs> Again, yes I think no. he. Again, I think you he, think he doesn't he care to 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 keep up the narrative that it's it's not a Nazi hat, you know. Own the meme, Holy maybe. Yeah. Oh yeah, maybe owning yeah. the meme. Maybe, yeah. Holy shit, man! <laughs> That's incredible moment. Fucking hell, that was amazing. <laughs> and look, he's or, so smug. He's, he's so, like, so happy. Yeah. He could be either David Dent or Michael Snot. So we, we gotta pick one. <laughs> <laughs> Can we have Michael works. Snort? Mm. Michael Snort? <laughs> Not today. Let's Not workshop today. this. Let's workshop this. <laughs> we'll get where to go. But in, in both occasions, anyway, he ended both streams essentially terribly. You know? Yeah. yeah. So it's, yeah. Smooth landing coming I can't in. Start crash which is that worse. Plane. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> which is worse. All right, we're coming in on a landing here. You could choose to go softly or choose to jump off a fucking cliff. What are you going to choose, Phil? He's like that's me with a guy's wet in his brow. Which do I choose? Normal ending or batshit insane? I'll choose batshit insane twice. Yeah. <laughs> Bill, take the J. Jonah Jameson meme out of your OBS settings and put this one on these. <laughs> Look at Blabs. <laughs> what a hero. Her face is what a hero there. Like the so, uh, I think in between um the actual appearance on the podcast and his response he ran some twitter polls so i would like to read <gasps> some no. of them about you guys please please, please. so uh, on oh, march 17th which was i think the the day it was supposed to happen uh perhaps let me just look at the calendar 
Uh, no, that was a Friday. But, you know, time zones are a bitch. So uh, my appearance on the podcast uh, Side Scrollers today was 32% say good, 35% say bad, and 34% say who cares? Still hate you. <laughs> what do you guys uh, hear? Uh, what do you guys think? I'm going to go first. I think it was good because this appearance was exclusively for the trolls. None of his fans would care about it, as he mentioned, because they wouldn't learn any new info. So as a troll, I had a, a fantastic time. It was a blast. I think Adam and Craig did a fantastic job. I think Phil did an outstanding job at doing exactly what I make fun of him for doing. So I would say it was good. What do you guys think? All right, go ahead, Sam. What do you think? Well, from yeah, from our point of view, it was very good. Um, but it wasn't good in the way that I think he, he wants that poll to mean good. So but yeah, my, my vote is good. Although I think I voted bad on that poll. <laughs> <laughs> how, about you? how about you steve exactly the same for us fucking phenomenal but for him the worst thing he could have done like that's what i say like it's for us this is like top five moment of all time of all yeah. time it's at oh, top yeah. five and and to think there's no reason for him to do this at all no reason except there is, his he one. had a dream he had oh, a dream, dream. Yeah, this dream, all bro. came from the dream that all that goddamn dream <laughs> How much, and he thought, guys, after this, after that, I think it went well. I think it went well. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he, he came away from it thinking it went well, you know. And it wasn't until, was it during the next day's stream the the, the story changed? I think it well, was after he learned they slagged him off. Mm. Well, uh, they don't say uh, slagged it off because that's not fair, but after he learned they were critical of him, he's, he, he's yeah, so let, let's, let's get there. Okay, right, I, okay uh, real quick to summarize, I guess, his decompression segment. Yeah. Um, and if you guys have something to add, please feel free to do so. Yep. Uh, we have 30 more minutes. Let's leave like five to 10 minutes left to read out all the contributions, yep. uh, play the outros and stuff. So, yep. yeah, I think we're going to do everything on just on time. Yep. So, um, right, his decompression segments. The takeaways from that was he thought it was great. He thought it was exactly what he wanted it, it to be. It was a fair shake. It was asking all the questions, nothing off the table. But his chat, his viewers thought it was a trap. And it was made for the trolls. So the trolls mm -hmm. could benefit mm -hmm. from it. And the trolls <laughs> sent them a lot of super chats because the trolls thought they, could a, they did a good job, which is bad for Phil. But Phil disagreed with that at the time, at the decompression segment. That's, that's yeah. what my takeaways are. <laughs> If somebody mm -hmm. has uh, seen it, it has other takeaways. Pl please correct me. Yeah, Just that, the, the, the Mickey Mouse voice when he was like retorting to that. <laughs> he was like, "No, I think it went fine." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and people, a lot of troll. I saw a lot of troll tips there, and they were saying like, just like smart shit. Like, I don't think that went too well. Like, I have actually no idea what you're talking about. But mm -hmm. thanks for the dollar. Yeah. Didn't, uh, oh yeah, well, like, he didn't make like 250 email. bucks from like enablers and gaslighters and stuff like that. So yeah. that's, that's fair enough. That's a W for him though. He probably thinks like, I think yes, I'm glad I did. That's it. why he thinks it went well because he was able to wail out at the end. So any sort of creeping doubt that actually that might have been a bad thing, it's easy to get rid of because you've got 250 quid to drop now. So he, he was fine with it. I think the next day when he was like, oh shit, what did I do really? Yeah. Like, that, that that is right from the DSP mindset, but from the troll mindset, any progress that could have been established during that five-hour podcast was completely undone by him going on his own stream and being enabled by all these people that genuinely thought he did a good job and mm -hmm. send him money and thought, like, Phil, great job. You, you did great. Keep up the good work. <laughs> Didn't a lot of this end up in the email, though, that he sent? He said... To, oh, to Craig. those emails, those emails. Like, you know, it, I thought we did well. I thought it was great. Some people in my chat said that Keemstar was a bit mean to me. but He can't know, even own I, that. He can't yeah. even own that. He can't even own that himself. He says, no. a lot of people in my chat said that. Just say it yourself, man. Can't accept fault. Can't accept God. fault at all. Oh, That's TJ so Gamebox annoying. confirmed he got a new character in his roster the same day. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Congratulations. Did anybody slaps. expect anything different? <laughs> He had to say in that email to Craig, my chat thought the Keemstar was a little bit unnecessary. Hmm. He derailed the podcast. Like, yeah. This yeah. does escalate to a, a degree that is way beyond Keemstar was a bit necessary into invasion parts. <laughs> uh, but uh, So uh, in between that poll that I just read, 
then we have you know an announcement of a podcast that he says there is not going to be a podcast today and we're going to chat for 20 or so minutes he talked for an hour <laughs> and then he started playing hogwarts legacy so on and so forth and then, then, oh, yeah. that got then what, head, so. what happens okay uh you guys have anything more to add or we that's can move good. on to the let's next move point on. we still got something to get to let's move on yeah. all right that's it, that's awesome. it. He, so just sum it up he thought it went well got a lot of money that day that's it next one yeah. right yeah. uh then we have on march 17th this is uh 9 p.m my time and uh, this is around the time when side scrollers decide to do their decompression stream. They decide to unpack what they gathered from five hours of talking to this guy because it was very successful and got a lot of attention. So they wanted to talk about their takeaway from this and what they thought it was. So they did it because Phil did his own thing. So why wouldn't they do it? But it so it happened that they shit talked him behind his back. So <laughs> in light. In light of things my viewers are telling me, I have to change the schedule. Tonight on the late stream, I will be doing a, all caps, live react of today's side-scroller podcast. He tags them in the tweet to see if what I'm hearing is true. I really hope it's not, but we will see. By the way, the person that was watching it was not any of his viewers. It was Kat. Remember, he says this later. Kat was the one watching it, so... I hope it's not true. What my wife just told me was true is what he's saying, really. Right. And then he makes a video that initially was called, Did They Dump on DSP? Dump is in all caps. <laughs> Live React to the Side Scrollers DSP Aftermath. And then if you go on DSP React, the name of that stream has changed to DSP React Backstabbed by Side Scrollers. <laughs> Let's end this here. No, I need to see. Back you can see, back. you can see in the original tweet because the name of the of the the yeah. link that you shared gets retained in the tweet, even if you change the name of the video. And it is now his featured video on the DSP Reacts channel. Oh, I saw that. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. Yep. So whatever. <laughs> oh God, it is drama views, oh, guys. God, drama is. views, blood money. Fuck that blood money. I don't want that shit. And. Back. Dab. Rest in peace. Before, judgment begins. <laughs> before the stream happens, Phil sends out a tweet that states, tonight's stream is going to be a fucking doozy. That's what the yeah. tweet says. You know who does tweets like that? And I would do tweets like that too, is Keemstar, by the way. Get hyping up those events, getting the shit ready, getting the drama going. That's how the internet fucking works. Yeah. And Phil knows it too, but Phil just can't do it when... It's bad when Keemstar does it. Remember that. Yeah, well, let me just stick to the timeline here. It's hard yeah, to please. derail too much. So, uh, my time, this was sent at 1.03 a.m. At 1.08 a.m., <laughs> Phil sends a tweet to Keemstar, uh, to the real Review Tech USA, <gasps> yeah. saying, want to come on my stream tonight? Mm -hmm. And Spiraling. then, 20 minutes later, he sends a tweet. Okay, I would like to publicly apologize and have a civil convo with you when it's not intrusive. I figured you might add something to the side scroller stream, but your life is way more important. I totally get it. This is the ballad of a flailing 15-year contact content creator. Flailing, desperate, mm -hmm. searching for an answer. How can I change this narrative? Get someone on my side. Yep. I know what I'll do. A content creator that I have beef with whose daughter is sick. He can't turn me down. In the, uh, I would like to bring out a quote from Phil. Quote, unquote. In my mind, I am better than rich. That is the quote. And we're reaching would, out to this guy to talk to him I, on my stream. I don't know if you're going to sort of like mention this, but this is an hour before he would say on stream... They were right about reaching out to people. I've reached out to Rich, you know, and it's like, you reached out an hour before. If you reached out after the podcast to go, I'm thinking about things and yeah, I was a bit of a dick to you. I'm sorry. That's completely different from reaching out an hour before you're about to do a podcast where you say against this charge, I actually have reached out to people. Yeah. That, I mean, that's him weaponizing that. He's yeah. Make sure that's that. clear. Cause he's, he, okay. He knew that they got shit talked. So he's like, yep. okay, what can I do to change the narrative here? I'll do something nice. Hey Rich, let's team up. Yeah, sorry about this, bro. Uh, for fairness sake, uh, he did uh, say uh, squashing the beef tweet there is on March 17th. So this is before even the okay. initial poll okay. 
about my appearance on today's side scroller and the tweet reads i sincerely wish you and your daughter the best people told me about what you're going through tonight and it sounds awful no more beef man let's move on so this is on (laughs) march 17th this is way before uh (laughs) it's it's not 24 hours but it's it's plenty of time before the inviting him to the podcast that's him like hey guys you know his his dance what do you say flying monkeys guys i need to have get some get some you know some credibility back here who can i email guys let me know a review tech's daughter is kind of sick okay that's great yeah that's it that's it review tech can i please apologize publicly for you this is gonna work great guys thanks such a that's a snake man hey mate if you're in your like really vulnerable moment and you need a a shoulder to cry on i'm right here you know i could do with the help (laughs) Taking advantage but, uh, of him when he's vulnerable. Yeah, it but but if you cry on my shoulder and then we don't get along for some reason, sometime after that, I'm gonna bring that up. The fact mm-hmm. that you cried on my shoulder, and I'm gonna say, Rich, I was here for you when you had to cry on my shoulder. When things were going bad for you, I was here for you. Why are you not here for me now? So he does those things, and I, I'm, I'm I'm gonna keep this uh, this whole spiel for when yeah. we actually get to it. So uh, let's let's, yeah, let's actually get, get to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's get there. Yep, go ahead. You, you I like your timeline. Keep going if you can. Right. Well, uh, after that, I guess he jumps on stream. Um, there was uh, another tweet, but that was way after way after the late stream. So uh, he does this uh, DSP reacts backstab by side scrollers. <laughs> One of the biggest points is that they read. All the insulting super chats from detractors, because, you know, people send you money and you read it, even if you don't get what it's about. One thing there, he was pausing only on super chat. So, like, if the super, he he stopped on every super chat to make sure he showed his, made his point. Like, look at this. They're reading super chat again. What the assholes. And then whenever, whenever they were saying something like agreeing with the super chat, fast forward, this means nothing. Fast (laughs) forward, this this is irrelevant. Fast forward, I don't know what they're saying. (laughs) Well, he was doing it. So many. It was great. Great he reaction. would skip through. Uh, he would skip through the video until he saw like a yellow super chat and be like, "Oh yeah, wait, wait, this is the big one. Let's see what it says." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then it would say like, "Hey, you guys did a great job on that DSP interview." And then so he would irrelevant. just skip it immediately. <laughs> yeah. Relevant. <laughs> yeah, they'd, they'd be talking about something slightly off topic and be like, you know, this isn't this isn't about me. Let's move on. You know, it's just yeah. like Jesus, man. This <laughs> full on baby mode. Just mm. the most it's a childish. Baby in diaper, crying on the floor. Please, <laughs> please save me. Please, someone notice me. Witness me. My pity. <laughs> God <Witness> damn it. <laughs> <Witness Mediocre>. me. <laughs> and dude, the first thing it said when this whole thing was about money. They made all that fucking money about me, using me. I didn't get any of that. That's how interviews work. It's Did not you... some new thing. You know? Did you see... Did you see when he was like, I don't know if this is true, but this is the number I've heard. It's 20 grand. And it's like, because you've heard it from one person, so you're going to automatically believe them. Because it agrees with your pre-existing bias that they must have got a lot of money from me. That's a great point. That's something that we missed when uh, Adam called him out. When Phil is watching documentaries on Keemstar. But when somebody makes a documentary of him, it's biased and it's nitpicking and it's a troll and they're taking oh, that as fact and they shouldn't. Mm-hmm. Yeah, how do we miss that? And he said, it, "This is rich coming from you, Phil." Oh. That was a great line, such I a have, great line. That's probably the 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 moment, isn't it? I think for me anyway. <laughs> and I've I've got it here. If, if, if everyone would like to hear it, holy Please. shit, Phil! I gotta say, this is fucking rich coming from you right now, though. <laughs> that just cuts cuts like butter. <laughs> god damn it man i love that moment it's so good it's so true phil watches keemstar documentaries and believes every single fucking thing on there phil watches a tractor documentary and says that ain't that didn't happen well, that's not true mm-hmm. nope anyone that's else not like true wings, nope General that's Howard, not true yep. yep that's not true that nugget of never truth happened. never happened <laughs> debunked but then uh, he 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 brought up being on there, giving them five hours of his time and doing them a favor to stay until the post show for their Patreon supporters. Remember when I told you guys to put a bullet point on that? Yeah, we're yeah, on yeah. that now. Uh, as as we could see on the on the screen, like what what Sam shared, that was completely him deciding to stay. They they yeah. let him. They let him go. They said, Phil, you know, if you want to go now, if you want to do your thing, you can do that, man. Uh, we're going to do the, the thing for the Patreon stuff. Yeah, we'd like to stay for you guys. 
And, remember, and now we're bringing that up. We're dangling yes. that in front of their face. And remember, he said also, if I was guilty, would I stay that long? He said that later. If I if I was guilty, would I stay for five hours? I'm just thrown it. That's it's it was, just he it's he <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> I mean, it, it, you can look at it kind of like he he wanted to feel like he was part of that crew for just a little moment, I guess. I felt you sad. Know. I felt sad yeah. sometimes when it's yeah. like he so wants to be mm-hmm. to be able to be a normal having nonsense fun on a podcast, dude. But unfortunately, yeah. his choices that he continues to make make that impossible. And there's no one else's fault to blame. But you, no matter how much you look for other places to blame, it is only your fault. Yeah, and, that and is like Craig, Craig rightfully said throughout, you know, he could, you know, it could well happen, but you've got to get through all this other stuff first, and he's never going to allow it. Or you know, never. Well, I hope he does. But... If it was yeah, anybody yeah. else, if it was anybody else, it would be tragic. You would feel sorry for this person who so clearly wants human relationships and doesn't have them. But it's Phil. You just yeah, that's, can't feel pity. That's why all. we're all here. We can't feel pity for it because the choices he makes and continues to make on Wednesday, the Wednesday before this interview, when you think you might be on your best behavior, you mm-hmm. think you might be on your best behavior. He says, after making 600 hours in the last three days, he says, guys, I really hope to get some tips tonight so I can have some money to afford my day off tomorrow. That was the day before the podcast. The day before the podcast, after making $600 in three days. He can't. You, nothing's going to change him. The like Keemstar said, and Keemstar also said that, uh, smartly said. I know this might sound weird, but your detractors are fans, and if you open that up a little bit, it's true. Like we're not fans, but we follow what he does, and you mm-hmm. can monetize that, monetize us. But Phil, again, making the wrong choice in every fucking possible way. That's, that's another I, example of it. Oh, I, I always like to put it like this: we are fans, but not in the way that his content was intended to be. Yeah. And he doesn't like that, of course. Mm-hmm. He could he could like that, and he could weaponize it, like people like uh, Boogie tried to do when Boogie opened an OnlyFans to post naked picture of himself for the trolls. <laughs> uh, Phil could do, I'm not saying that, but he could weaponize it as well. But yeah. he's too prideful for that. But because, of course, we're fans of the, the shit show. We're fans of the freak show that's going on, and that's... Like crazy if we denied that being fact because we talk about him and people follow him around and we are the target demographic for what he is doing on that podcast on the on the side scrollers. We are the people who tuned in. Yep. I if you would, quick. yeah, good. If you wanted, you could tie it all back to this is how you don't play because again, you've got that moment there where it's like this is a side of Phil. This is not like the side of Phil that he wants to project. This is a whole other side, and it's like suddenly people can be interested in that. We don't need to follow Phil, the, the, the character, the, the image he wants to put out. We can see the real Phil, and we want that now. So ultimately, we are fans in that regard. We are fans of seeing this thing break through every now and then. And, Mirka, are we getting to the part where he reads the Craig email? That's coming um, up. Yeah, I think so. I, I don't really yeah. have it pulled up, but the essentially it was in response to Phil's email. So. Yes. I need to put this kind of into perspective for clarification purposes. <laughs> so Phil writes him an email uh, where he explains that he could send him proof for the champion stuff. But he asks Craig, Craig, do you check this email very often? And Craig responds the next day, basically saying, and I'm going to kind of paraphrase this because I don't have the email in front of me. You can go check it out. It, it's on. Uh, he reads it on duty stream and on yeah. his own stream on Twitch. So if you want to fact check me on this, feel free to do so. I watched that on my stream as well yesterday. Uh, What Craig says, basically, Phil, you didn't help your case. You look guilty. So at this point, there is really no point for you to to be showing me any kind of proof. I was trying to get you to level up to level two. Oh, I I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got got that right here. Let me me read that. Let me read that line. Because it's uh, basically just what your cat says. I don't want to read the whole thing again. You had a lot of chances, Phil. I bring up a lot of insane, insanely even the defense. You wouldn't take the chance to, to back it up. Your defense is always, it's not. That's your, def- that's your defense. Keemstar coming on. I tried to lay out similarities you feel towards him and the way people feel about you based on the things we've seen online about you, and it was tough. Honestly, I'm disappointed. Like I said, we want what's best for you. We very much do. You have to help yourself. When you're ready to take that step, I'll gladly take you on, take you on your journey. Take you on that journey, excuse me. You deserve to get to level two. I know you can do it. 
And his response to this is gold. Because his response is that level two must mean that you're just like Keemstar. You're taking other people's suffering and you're monetizing it. You you have to be just like Keemstar. And that's what he made it out to look like. So Craig is now officially a bad guy because Phil offered to show him all this proof, man. He offered not to just show him the champion's account. He was going to screenshot his Apple account that connects to all of these millions and billions of mobile games. Whatever, man. Oh, but yes. Yeah, like, that's just said, bullshit. That, that point is gone now. At yeah, any yeah. point now, we cannot trust that you didn't make like a new account that's got nothing on it or you haven't edited it. You, that moment has gone. You've lost that chance now. You can never be believed about that. The only way you would ever get away with it now is to hold up your phone and sh like actually tap the account and properly sign in. And even then, people probably wouldn't believe you because it's the always that doubt. It, uh -huh. it still people wouldn't believe it, but it's still it'd be much better chance if you say, "Yep, you know what? I will do it right yeah. here, right now. Go." And like I would, is that what you yeah, have a lot I, of I would like to ask you guys because I talked about this on my stream. If Craig was to verify the proof that Phil sent him, and Craig went out and said. You guys, this is not Phil's account. We've been wrong. Would you would, would you accept that? No. Because yeah. based on based on the the interview and how objective he was, I would say that I would accept that yeah. because I think that he would do his best to verify that that truly was not some like bullshit. I still yeah. can't get past the Firestone the Firestone thing though. Like I still can't get past that. The Firestone lineup is the it's his bank account, guys. So no, no, we're, we're talking about the the mobile game stuff. Champions. Well, I mean, so but he still has all that Apple Apple iTunes spending, guys. We have to explain away then. Yes, the the yeah. the the so bank stuff that is like the, he has no defense for that. He That's has okay. absolutely okay. no defense okay. for that. Yeah. But if he could show that, like, hey, this account on WWE Champions is not me. This is my account to Craig, and then Craig oh, okay, would go, okay, I've okay, then it. maybe he spent less. Okay, okay, yes, yeah. I would then. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. That's totally fine. Just yeah. again, like Mick, I said, based on how he handled that interview and how objective he seemed. Yeah, like, like he had my trust for something so significant like that. If he said Phil showed me, it's not. I would, I would accept that. But Phil has lost that chance now forever. Yeah. But let's not kid ourselves. It's not like if that all of a sudden came true, it's like, okay, yeah, Phil's a good guy, pretty yeah. cool. He has a little bit of an addiction problem, but it's cool. It's not like that either. But that would that point would be proved. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. We would take the L on that. But yeah. Well, but, uh, but what if he showed him an account? Because we're never going to find out in in this scenario. We're never going to find out from Craig what Craig saw, right? Because Craig he could say down from the rafters is not Phil's account name is not down from the rafters. You know, right. That yeah. account is not Phil. But if we so never he... know what what the name is, mm -hmm. then we can't verify. You know, he you know Phil could make a new name on that yeah it's kind of like oh yeah whatever. absolutely yeah it's hypotheticals or whatever but i, I do mm. want to talk about because we got to move on here a little bit but when mm. this is phil's defense about the whole thing during this time was they went into that interview believing what the detractors said they only talked to detractors and i know this is true craig said this he did not receive any emails from phil fans no, he, received, <laughs> he received a fuck ton of emails from detractors a fuck ton of emails from detractors so that tells you something actually though he did receive i, I forgot to tell the story earlier while i was doing the hour-long pre yeah, practice with craig he received an email online or, uh, live and it mm -hmm. said this in paraphrasing of course hey oh, this is this is whoever from down from from the detractor palace your <gasps> your information has been doxxed on <laughs> kiwi farms I don't think this interview is good. It's bad for all of us detractors, and it's also bad for you. You need to cancel this interview. I saw Craig read this out live. Now, Meerkat, I didn't know who this was at the time. I thought Meerkat, Meer, Craig was kind of taking it seriously. Like this, I was like, dude, this is there's zero chance this is true. There's no, I don't know about any detractor palace. He's not speaking for all of us. Do not ignore this right away. Ignore this. But Meerkat then told me when I told him the story, it, who is it again? Detractor Palace is Superhound. Yes. Also so known as Jake Lasso. So Superhound was trying to do a last minute ditch effort. This was at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The, the whale Mary to get the interview canceled for his boys on his boys' behalf. You can tell because the soup the, the Detractor Palace YouTube channel has a link to it. Is it dot er gov dot us? It's, exactly. it's a fishing Don't site. click it, on it. It will yes. take your IP, it will rip it. So it but it's him. It's his. It's ones he's used before. Yes, so, that's true. <laughs> so it's him so yeah yes, that's great him. Blake. well done 
Yeah, so that happened live. I was like, I just not know who it was. I, I didn't know that deep about the Tractor Palace, but it was so crazy. I was like, dude, this is insane. He, and Superhound is correct to think Phil should not have done this 100%. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, your boy had to do it. It's another Thursday for him, like he says. But the, like, the weird thing is, you'd think of all fans, Phil's fans would know how to email. So why didn't they? You know, they, they must yeah. be used to emailing by now, especially if you get banned and you need to get back in. <laughs> well, we know they're exceptionally good at emailing because Phil receives a remarkable amount of emails from fans that are <laughs> that that are so considerate and they love him so much. They're willing to write paragraphs to give him advice <laughs> on his React channel. <laughs> Going through stuff and telling him how meaningful that content is. Yeah. But dude, <laughs> dude, seriously, th th this is what Phil said, though. He, they believed everything. They got all the evidence from the tractors, nothing mm -hmm. from the other side. The other side consists of i didn't do that mm -hmm. Trust no me. that's not true <laughs> that that's it phil what's your defense no that's not true i'm gonna get a bit yeah that's other it. than other than people like emailing craig saying i find phil's content meaningful and um, <laughs> <laughs> what else is there yeah and I, I challenged Craig. I, and Craig talked about this when he was on with duty which i would probably we talk we should at least talk about that a little bit he said um I, someone told him to watch 10 minutes of, of Phil content and see what you think, you know? Let's, let's see if you could sit mm. through it and see what you find Sounded enjoyment cool. out of it. Yeah. And that was, I told him to do that. And he said, like, well, some people find, find uh, you know, enjoyment in a lot of things, like, you know, weird stuff. And I was like, that's true, but think about what kind of person does it take to enjoy a, a Phil stream? It is not a normal human being. Mm. And I don't want to, I'm not trying to be toxic here, but it, it is the truth. It is the truth. And that is some point that was not brought in the interview, because it's kind of hard to bring that up without being offensive, but Mm -hmm. That's the truth. Who enjoys the kind of humor Dark Side Phil has? No one. Unless you're a certain kind of person. Who finds the jokes he says funny? Who sounds his content meaningful? No one. And that's the biggest... That's another layer of why Phil is just not a good choice. You're totally. Well, it, it's not no one, factually. Yeah, sorry, no one. It's, it's someone, <laughs> but the, those people are widely regarded as a certain type of people. Uh, so... Uh, yeah, uh, and I, I think it's worth addressing this. Uh, Craig has admitted he agreed to uh, come on our podcast, but if he's done with the DSP stuff, he wants to move on, do his own stuff, absolutely no pressure. Yeah. Uh, he can just watch as much as he wants of whatever he wants. He can watch yeah. this episode to see what we think about this, and then that's it. If yep. Adam that's wants fun. to come on, that's that's cool, man. We're going to talk about DSP a little bit. Chatham, he has a, a first-hand experience, so that, that'll be fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they'll get the red carpet treatment. We'll make this place the 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 the, the, the Crag and, and Chatham show. Oh, right. they're, gonna need, like, a, they're gonna get an honorary like Strokey, aren't they? In the next. Oh God, yeah, they already got yeah. one. I okay, so my yeah. side scroller's hat, by the way, it's coming. Guys with uh, with all, families yeah, yeah. and house operators. How much time do we have? <laughs> Five minutes. Samuel. Yeah. Five minutes. Sam, put mm. the, the kai bomb. Okay, then minutes. let's let's jump to uh, super chats and then outro. Yes, please. Because we we yeah. could expand and go into the the Keemstar and and Craig on duty stream. We could we could go all kind of ways with this. So depends on uh, what you guys are good with. So I, I can jump get, onto the the super chats. Quick overview of the stream afterwards. Yeah. So duty was on, duty was on doing his restream and Craig came on there. Uh, mm. Just out of the blue, or what? I don't know how that happened. How did he, he was like just streaming get on? on his as well? Didn't he? He started a stream to get onto duties. Yeah. So, yeah, oh, okay. he started streaming from his end as well. Yeah. Yep. So he kind of got in there, was talking about the situation. Phil obviously was not happy. Burn that bridge fast as shit. By the way, though, we should make the point that Phil did all this this grandstanding about how I was going to send Craig information. Just mm. so he looks like he was had a good faith chance to send shit. Like I was gonna do it. They fucked up mm. the chance. God damn Absolutely. it. That's the only reason he did it. It's because I wanted to make appear like I was going to be serious and send the proof. But now I can't send the proof. Gosh darn it. If they didn't do that, it's their fault, not my mm. fault. Mm -hmm. I okay. wanted we, to send the information. Yeah. We have a genuine, honest question without uh, putting his family at risk from Brad Burnian. <laughs> uh, should we skip the next group thing to do a part two, analyzing the whole fallout? Yeah, Probably. that might be a good idea, yeah. Because there's a lot. Right, what do I do, yeah. what do, I yeah. do with my 18 interview bits? There are <laughs> what do I do? Well, we, we can do a half and half so we yeah, can satisfy yeah. all of our audience. Plus, yeah. uh, ALT has his own show now as well. We should pimp that out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Fridays. Fridays songs only. This Friday is going to be a snood special. We're going to get snood on and injured on and listen to some smooth, some snood greatest hits on Friday. Snood. Excellent. 
Snood, smooth snood is coming snood out Friday. with a capital. But yeah, I, I think I think what we've all witnessed warrants changing things up slightly. Um, yeah, for yeah. The midweek show for sure. Yes, definitely. And also, we should say that our next week guest on Sunday. By the way, our next week guest is pretty hype. We need to say it. We are going to get the one, the only, the duty on Sunday. A lot of people are asking for this, and we made it happen. Duty is coming in finally, and also our art contest, which is like. The worst timing ever because all this happened. Oh, shit. Yeah, contest, that's going on. Yeah. <laughs> our art contest, we're making a figure that Gundam himself is going to paint for us. It's going to be 3D printed and sent away to Gundam to paint. Is going on. Please send your entries in here. You have one week left to get those in. So it's duty streams next Sunday with Darcy to fill. And also, uh, I think it's a good time now, Sam, that we're going kind of late. And unfortunately, my wife is kind of doing something and she's actually crying downstairs sam if you could send an image of that please it, it's there point. it's there they can see it's it. a, my wife is crying downstairs guys we went too late that's obviously <laughs> made by darksy that's made by darksy big ups darksy. Uh, big ups <laughs> he made that during this show <laughs> but go ahead Mirka, no please way. finish us out finish us out right and then please you guys you have to promise that you're going to play my song which is already yes. public but anyways <laughs> uh and, and speaking of uh, yeah i would like to bring this up when craig was on duty's podcast he says was his la- uh, his wife was laughing so she's the opposite <laughs> of cat he's like my my wife is laughing upstairs yeah <laughs> <laughs> exact inverse <laughs> right i'm going to go through some super chats if you guys have something to say about them have uh, any comments or something is a question just cut me off yes uh, big ups to Larry B for the super chat. The reacting was the most angry I've ever seen him. Real anger. It was a True. compelling scene. True. It really was. Yep. You really uh, see lotion that. up says, uh, you know, I had to do it to him, and that's a quote. I lotion guess. up. <laughs> Cream and, on. Uh, they went in dry. Cream on. Yeah. Si three says, uh, laughing my ass off. That's so cringe. I'm sure that's uh, about the the pilot hat being oh. busted out. What a moment. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Your boy says, uh, either the order is true and it's irrelevant, or it's a lie and it's pathetic. Either way, it's not anybody's business, so it's exploitative, unreal. That's about Kat's uh, restraining order. I remember yes. that one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, big ups to U.S. Army 77. How about when Phil tried to change the subject a couple of times and Craig and Adam said, no, let's keep on topic. You That's could see Phil was upset. Best. Yeah, this this wasn't according to the script he had laid out in his head. <laughs> and uh, we have a shout out to Steve from Gary XYZ eight fifty one. Yo, Steve of the Dead, love your content, brother. Oh, thanks, mate. It's new stuff is coming. I am editing. I promise. <laughs> well, it, at, at this Very point, man, the last two days, like <laughs> you gotta be working overtime. Yes. Yeah. Uh, big ups, uh, Galeth Knox, uh, who says Phil stayed the entire five hours and was okay with Keen coming on because he needs to prove he's the smartest guy in the room and outweighs his instincts to survive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's one thing we know is he is the not the smartest person in that room in any room. <laughs> he wasn't even the smartest person in the room he was at when it was being recorded. <laughs> Jasper was there. No, even the smartest no, in the, the room. Ants Jasper was there. Yeah, the ants were there. <laughs> oh shit! Um, a big ups to Yosef who says, "I felt so dumb when he showed us the paper with the crayons written info. <laughs> I could not believe we fell for his trap. Hit X the gout. Yes, I'm, I'm sure. sure that was a. I started doubting him. Then I'm like, you know what? Phil maybe has all these bills." Uh, big ups to <laughs> Jasper the Cat who gives a shout out to Snort Hogan, Duty, and Chill Murray. So yeah, shout outs nice. to them. Da- uh, Duty says, uh, Great job, ALT. Who Thanks we all not just me. Did a great I job. deserve 1% of it. All, they did so good. Craig and Adam are legends. A lot of other people helped too, not just me at all. That is true. But on, on this panel, you deserve the most credit. You were the direct you. point of contact, representing all of us. That is true. I'll take that. I'll take that W. Take that W. Because <laughs> you never know when the when the next quiz is coming and I'm going to destroy you. So keep it. Hey, right, we did he just hit 3,000 subscribers today. So we could uh, get another round two in there. But we'll talk about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you want, you want another one? <laughs> another L? I'll take it. 
yeah, uh, Hayden42 says, big ups to those who watched it in the Discord. ALT and the others uh, there made the interview super fun. So shout out to you guys for hanging yes. out and interacting. Hanging uh, then Snood says, uh, DSP spent a week discouraging his audience from checking out the interview because there will be no new answers and then got <laughs> mad that no one showed up. <laughs> <laughs> Great point. <laughs> uh, uh, then we got uh, DAR Christian 91. I heard that Review Tech USA might be doing an interview with Phil. Do you think Rich will try to open up to, to one up Phil on his interview? Keep up the good work. It's already said he's not going to do it. Review Tech dunked on Phil. Yeah, his uh, tweets. Yesterday. Yeah, his tweets. No were saying, hey, Review Tech, we're not, I mean, no. he, 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 Review Tech handled it correctly in this case. 100%. Yeah, rightly so. 100%. Yeah, he said, fuck that shit, man. There we go. Uh, big ups Ian Moreland, who says, uh, ALT, as you remember, Frost slash Nixon. How did you compare? <laughs> you know, because you're old. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for uh, saying I'm old. You, don't, you didn't have to uh, add that to the joke, by the way. Then we go Vikes, who just sent a super chat. So I'm going to read that before it, it passes. 3K subs, 1K watching, 200K subs, 200 watching. <laughs> That's a ratio for you. That's a take that <laughs> ratio. We're going to flex on that until the end of time. Yeah, of course. We're gonna post that up on Twitter too, and we're gonna get a ratio there as well. So, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, no Zaku boy says. Uh, to be honest, that concludes the legendary pig roast saga for me. Next is the <laughs> the white whale saga. Ah, Seems like that's... Team is a little jealous of the praise Craig is receiving, and Ooh. he's gonna and he's going a little a a happy. A uh, yeah, Captain, Captain Ahab. Well, we get Captain Ahab. Yeah, we'll, uh, talk about that on, we'll talk about that on Thursday. They call the group thing is Thursday this week. We'll talk about it then. There we yeah. go. Uh, big up to Trenton Brown who says won't be able to catch this live, but I want to say, uh, Sir Moist has to be in the top percentile of detractors. Don't forget <laughs> this great fiasco started when Moist said Phil's entire brand was begging. Oh, yes. I, okay. I just thought of a meme. I got to do that. Domino's pushing. It was definitely Sir Moist. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was the push of the smallest domino. Yes, you're right. Yeah. Mm. Uh, uh, big ups to Ian Moreland. Check the record. Two weeks I said ALT knew something. So he he got you. He Thank spot you. you right off the bat. Thank you. And uh, Mr. Extravagant says uh, a little something for the divorce fund. You, you're <laughs> legends. <laughs> hey, today we're cool, man. We're cool. Sam's not, though. Sam might has word right now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, big ups to Dabby. Uh, she says uh, his reaction to the side scrollers debrief meltdown was legendary, which it was. <laughs> and shout out to Dabby for contributing to that and giving us a shout out. Yes, yeah, Dabby yeah. legend. That was, that was cool. awesome. Yeah. Uh, Infidel yeah. Castro is chilling with some 420 coffee squirrels. That being said, Sunday decompression, <laughs> which is like the best combo Perfect. out of nowhere. Woodland creatures. And it works online as well. So uh, uh, big ups to Khan Saad, who says, uh, guys, while the impromptu interview with Duty, Kim, and Craig was a bit controversial towards the end, both Duty and Chinko apologized. Recognition. Big ups to that. I didn't think it was that bad. I guess we're going to talk about it on the, the next thing we do. Yeah. yeah. I, don't, I don't think they had to apologize for anything, but it's cool they did, but I don't think they had to. It's just, you know, we'll talk about it. Thursday. Yeah. Uh, I, I think Craig was already clocked out, so it doesn't really matter it mm -hmm. at all. Yep. Uh, uh, big ups to Dabby again. Big ups to all involved. Insane forty eight hours. I can still smell the ham. The ham cooking. <laughs> P.S. Steve, let's get married. Oh. We get an, a, a formal cool. proposal. It's a lope. <laughs> cool. Are we going to do it in Las Vegas, or are we actually going to plan something? Go to your parents' house, Steve. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The best. <laughs> Yeah, your your dad loves the show, so he's gonna participate in this. Uh, VLX right now says in chat, ALT, would you say this was an extinction level event, like when an asteroid that took out the dinosaurs for Phil? And of course, this is a question for ALT because he actually remembers. <laughs> yeah, it's similar, similar impact, a, a lot of different ways. Yes, definitely very similar. Thank you. Yeah, uh, I was there. I was there, Meerkat. <laughs> yeah, shout out to uh, the Decepticron. I'm first going to read his first super chat so because his second one is an apology. <laughs> uh, bad news, ALT. Network execs at WPIG rejected your pilot for Pimp My Walker. They hated the meaningful stories about the Great Depression in speedrunning, <laughs> but liked learning about Walker culture. And then he says, jokes aside, amazing work. Hashtag trust ALT. Thank you. Never forget and, uh, shout out to Stray Beans. I went away for the weekend. Did I miss anything? No, <laughs> I know, I know you what did. I saw, I saw you. 
I saw you in the chat uh, a to, lot, Stray Beads. To quote uh, LTG, rewind the stream. I'm not repeating anything. <laughs> uh, Taylor Jennings says, you guys see him show off his Nazi hat to Craig? Yes, we did. Yeah, yeah. Live, Later. live reaction. Yeah, Incredible. it was uh, it was hot. This is going on the that being said reacts channel, which are that launching made, uh, made, immediately. Yeah. <laughs> that made the show way better. Like we didn't see it; it was just like so fresh. Like that was incredible. Yeah, I'd assumed you guys would have seen that. That was no, that was great that man. you hadn't. <laughs> yeah, uh, the White Devil asks, "When will Steve's twenty-hour video on the interview be out?" And judging by Steve's uh, uh, production output, it's probably this time next year. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, thanks. 2024 I am, early. Well, I am editing. I'm sorry. I'm, January. I'm, I'm, He's doing I'm better than me. Give him, give him a chance. Man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm currently editing the one about the meltdown that he had like a week before this. So that's the worst. Like, yeah, yeah, it feels like. That's uh... like replace something else that I need to edit. Let's replace something else because I was sick. And it's like, I've got a backlog, but it's coming. I promise. Yeah. Uh, shout out to Infidel Castro, who says uh, we ate good this week. Oh, and honestly, yeah. it was like the, the best DoorDash sushi that Renton could get ever. Yeah. <laughs> Time released. Detract, detract to Christmas, as I've seen it <laughs> pointed out. As... Yeah, uh, again, a uh, massive shout out to Paradox for the significant contribution of uh, 50 pounds. A big ups to all the effeminate boyfriends. We appreciate Definitely. it very much, uh, Paradox. <laughs> all and finally, we're not we're going to leave you with one a world premiere, if we could, Sam, where we're coming out. Oh, I'm uh, no, it's already it. live on the channel. Okay, but I can play it. But yeah, it's I've a got world premiere here. for this stream. Okay, it's a world premiere. <laughs> <laughs> all right, go ahead. Let's finish it. What a show! Thanks, everybody. You're all legends. Everybody on the panel's a legend. Everyone watching a legend. It's incredible. What a legend group we have here. We'll see you on Thursday. Yes, we will. Yes, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> that's my favorite. Yes, that's true. See you later, everyone. That being said, thanks for tuning in. Be sure to like and subscribe, recommend to a friend, and if they stay as your friends, without taking offense, we hope to see you again someday. Hey, did you know this song is from Mario? Here's a planet, so go get it, you know. Yes, Derek, we know. Now go. It's, it's disappointing. Uh, to me, it's sad, but at the same time, you know, it just, once again, all the detractors, they said this was going to happen, and they were right. Holy oh, shit, man. The detractors, they were right. Holy oh, shit, Phil. Okay, we're so back. I can hear the song. Hey, we're back. Hey, we're back. Uh, we forgot Brad Burney in Super Chat, which was a, a very generous contribution, so we would like to address that. Uh, sorry for forgetting it. Because we're we're running really low on time, so shout out, massive shout out to Brad Burnian. <laughs> uh, yes, that's true. Yes, that's true. Uh, that's who says? Yes, that's uh, I guess true. I, I, I gave side scrollers this amount for doing a bang up job. You guys have been doing this a lot longer, so it's only fair you receive the same. I apologize for being stupid enough to think the reveal of DSP reacts was seriously going to be the highlight of the year. <laughs> yeah. wait, 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 none of us could have predicted this. None of us could have <laughs> predicted this. Come on. That reacts channel is going to be like number eight on Secret Limited. List, <laughs> yeah. you know? Unless he reacts to like some crazy point. shit. Yeah, true. True, true, true. But he won't. If, if, if yesterday was any sort of like indicator, no. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> no. Right. So, yeah. Anyway. Divorce time, Sam. Sorry. See you Thursday. Yeah. See you then. <laughs> yeah, hey, goodbye. Yeah. Yes. It's, it's disappointing uh, to me, and it's sad, but at the same time, you know, it just, once again, all the detractors, they said this was going to happen, and they were right. Holy shit, Phil. The detractors, they were right. Holy shit, Phil. Your detractors, they were right. Holy shit, Phil. Do you hear yourself right now? They were right. Like, we totally fucked him. No, fuck all that noise. Get you a bottle of gin from Total Wine. Fire up your TV. Drinky, drinky gin. Drinky, drinky gin. Consequences have actions, pimp. Here's what you gotta do. Drinky, drinky gin. Drink a Pepsi later on. Play you fucking WWE champions. Consequences have actions, pimp. Holy shit, Phil. The detractors. They were right. Yep. Holy shit, shit, Phil. Your detractors. They were right. Yep. Holy shit, shit, Phil. Do you hear yourself right now? They were right. Yep. Like, we totally fucked him.
Stop being a fucking victim. You fucking bitch. You fucking asshole. Own your shit. Own your shit. Own it. Holy shit, Phil. The detractors. They were right. Bitch. Holy shit, Phil. Your detractors. They were right. Bitch. Holy shit, Phil. Do you hear yourself, bitch? They were right. Like, we totally fucked him. You're still on mission one. No, I'm not gonna let you lie. I know you're lying. I'm gonna pick on you. I know you're lying. Being dishonest and begging for money begging and people wanting justice. He is not a real person. He's not genuine. He is not honest. He's a scammer. I just see a scammer. They were right. Holy shit, Phil. The detractors. They were right. Holy shit, Phil. Your detractors. They were right. Holy shit, Phil. I just see a scammer. They were right. Like, we totally fucked him. Alright, I'm done. I, I, I'm done. I understand everything now. I know why there's this hate wave on him, and it's been on him for years. It's because of this bullshit. American mom. out to the one and only the big cat the fat cat big ups I first saw you in Burger King you took two seats cause that ass is way too big had a boyfriend I realized Lies with your raccoon eyes. The door dash is here. Wipe away your tears. Got you extra fries, and they taste just right. Have no fear. There's no trolls here. Kevin made you cry. With those raccoon eyes, raccoon eyes, raccoon eyes. Kevin made you cry with those raccoon eyes. Take you. some sushi like you were the queen let me run some errands while you sleep i can watch you play skyrim all day this week have no fear there's no trolls here kevin made you cry with those records day of my life i feel like this next day is awesome i, I get i have a, a beautiful wife who i love so much she loves me and a family and jasper and, and you know the things we get to do together and, you know, i definitely want more time with them and more family time but i absolutely love my life today compared to how it used to be seriously all those years back then you'd be like it's a whirlwind of crap 
It was me. And by the way, I've told you guys about my past. I used to drink way too much. I would be drinking constantly, all the time, because I was so stressed out. I was I, honestly, when I started with this whole thing, I was depressed many years ago, you know, decade ago. I didn't like my life or anything. And basically, liquor was the way to kind of get through that. You know, it was oh, I hate my life. I hate, I hate who I am. So let me just drink it all away and just keep pumping out fucking YouTube videos. I don't have to do that shit anymore. You know, like I'm happy with who I am. Like, do you hear yourself right now? Indeed, I do.